Alright. Yeah. <clears throat> Are we live? Hello guys. Welcome to the weekly drink and draw stream. Today we'll be doing um, portrait sessions and uh, yeah, we'll be drinking some gin tonic. It's, it's true. It's gin tonic. Mm -hmm. And we have chocolate. And we're all the stuff that we desire. Okay. And we're actually going to be drinking today. Oh. Yeah, drinking and drawing. Damn. That is what we're going to do. And we'll be using photos of ourselves to make some cool portraits. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, there are like a few ones. And I think I will start with. I mean, we can. Okay, we can just chill for a moment. Mm. And, um, so, guys, how was your week? Hello, Taliopa. Hey, hey. Taliopa. How are you? Do you have a gin tonic as well? I, I answered your comment on Instagram uh, a bit ago that it's a tonic kind of day. And it yes, is. it is a tonic day. <laughs> so we're drinking gin tonic. Cheers. Actually. 
Tschüss. Okay. Tschüss. Tschüss. <lacht> klink, klink. Drinking ASMR incoming. Mm -hmm. mm. You're not having that direct nah. at the mic. I decided for the red wine, but cheers. That sounds good as well. Mm. Red wine was too warm for that. I was thinking about it. Hmm. <laughs> um, yeah. So I guess I think we can just start, right? Uh, I have one concern. Mm -hmm. We have used these pictures before, so I don't know how do we make sure that we don't use the same ones as I'm half sure. a year ago. Hey, little fat one bud. Oh my god, you were at the you were at the beginner session. <gasps> yeah. Yeah, we met you in real life. I only found out later, and I didn't say hi. I'm sorry, but hi. <laughs> yeah, so now we treat you like a real person. I we still assume that all the others are just imaginary. So uh, you better get to the boats. We can actually, you know. Wow. But you. Taliopa is also a real person. We Indeed. know her a Indeed. lot. She's coming to the sessions very regularly. Zignarv. Sorry, I missed the start. Short or long poses have to ask since you don't have the timer running. I think <coughs> Kevin is for now no, just... Um, yeah, oh. just scribbled. Um, yeah, we're, we're going to do... welcoming. Yeah, long long poses or courts? Uh, courts. <laughs> courts. I would say... Short. Short or long poses? <laughs> Maybe warm up with shorts and then warm. get longer. Yeah, we can oh. warm up with some short, short ones. Short. So how short do you think shall we do? Two seconds. Ah. Wow. Let's do two seconds. One, two. Oh, All right. Shit. There we go. Okay, next one. <laughs> next one. Next photo. Um, sorry, guys. Sorry. Okay. Uh, I'm going to set the time right now. Yeah. One, two. That's it. Nice. Love it. I think we're gonna get do twenty thousand of these two seconds. Yeah, have fun, now. guys. I think this will be a nice <laughs> session today. <laughs> Hello, thirsty plants. Oh my God, do we know you, thirsty plants? Have we seen you here before? It's a gnarf. Oh, what's that? Uh, is, it, is it Pia? No way. Is it Pia? Is it? Is it? Is it? What? What are you talking about, girl? I don't know. I just keep guessing. Who's Pia? Hmm? Who is Pia? I don't know. Yeah. I want to know who Pia is. <laughs> Thirsty plants, you mean? Ah, it's Maike. <gasps> Maike! Maike! Ah, okay, okay. Maike is in the house. So, so cool. So you. Steve and Maike, are you just both <laughs> in one. Are you in one room or are you in separate rooms? <laughs> is my gaming tag. That's a good. It's a good gaming tag. Gaming tag. Same room. That's awesome. So we get like two, two views. Two more views. That's in one room. Back to back. Oh, oh my god. Love it. All right. Stop I'm talking now. A married couple that um. I know um, were also really into drawing would sometimes join in on the same um, voice chat or the same text chat and then tell each other like, hey, did you get the groceries? When they could just, you know, say it. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Did you get the groceries? And you would type back, I haven't. I should yeah. maybe go. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. And sometimes someone asks, are you in the same room again? Then, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, but I did a similar thing once um, when I think when you guys were streaming and I was on my way home and I knew you both wouldn't answer your phone because you were streaming and then I wrote in chat like, hey, should I bring something from oh, the yeah, grocery yeah, store? Yeah, <laughs> Hello, uh, Captain Kotschnabel. Hello. Uh, Hello. Thirsty Plant says, but chatting is more fun. It's true. Sometimes sometimes I write Kevin from the other room, like, but he mm. never answers because he's just ignoring me most it's of the time. Yeah, true. It's better than yelling <laughs> or standing up. That's right. I'll up. be joining you in a minute. Need some tea to calm my nerves. Annoying oh. display. Annoying display? Annoying display. Annoying, Annoying display. Annoying day, maybe? Annoying day. Hmm. Need to rumble in the mumble. Rumble, rumble, mum. Did, did, we, did we tell the Discord that we're alive? The shumble and the gumble. We did. Let's start the portraits. My okay. mates. Me mates. Alright. Okay. Um, five um, minutes. Yeah. Five minutes it is, and I need someone to tell me the time. Start. Uh, I mean, I can see it actually. I can just keep it like this. Wait. Do you, don't you want to drop the reference about Bega? No, I don't need big reference. Okay. Just, it's just five minutes. Just a disclaimer: if you feel like this photo is boring because we've used it before like literally half a year ago then please say that and we choose a different one it's just um it's we wanted to do portraits but we didn't have the time to shoot more portraits it's not like they fall uh, 
I, I think it's alright. Just right. saying, you know, I don't want to. I, I don't want people to say like, "Oh, drunken draws are boring." And I keep using the same references. It's just annoying. So you know, just if that is the case, if you feel that way, it's totally valid, and we just <laughs> want you to tell us. You know, just straight up into our faces. Listen, guys, this needs to change. Sure. Okay. This is this is. Um, I think I rushed too much. <laughs> untenable. Uh, I would like to speak to the manager mm. of uh, Drink and Draw. I am. Uh, <laughs> and yell at them. Uh, actually, that's just my, my agenda here. I just want to yell at them. Can I, can I do that? Can I just complain? They spend the best Kelly accent. <laughs> yeah. I my glasses to read chat. Kinda helps. I put my sketchbook here because I was very keen on maybe doing actually some traditional stuff while I was waiting to do the digital stuff, but no, oh, I'm thinking about it. I don't <coughs> know. I'm lazy. Also, you can't talk while drawing, at least not. Yeah, true. <laughs> I don't Whenever know. you're talking, you're drawing at the table, you just stop drawing. That's right. So, uh, so uh, judging uh, or you're accusing, totally but uh, yeah. jacuzzi. I mean, I can draw and talk, but not if I'm talking about something that I'm emotionally invested in. Then I need to stop drawing and <laughs> like fully embrace the feeling I'm feeling. The feeling you're feeling. The feeling I'm feeling. feeling all the Ooh, stuff. how about we all, everyone that wants to at least, share a little like success they had either this week or today. Because I just thought about something that I feel slightly proud of and I wanted to share with you. Uh, so you, you're just asking because... So then you can talk about it. Mm, well, I thought it would <laughs> just be like a very uplifting thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to hear successes. I want to hear successes. It can be minor stuff. For me, it's minor stuff. But I uh, talked to a lot of people that I don't know on the phone today. And it used to be very scary for me, oh. and I hated it. And I feel like it's totally cool now. Like I think I talked with literally six people today that I am either don't know at all or I'm like very loosely acquainted to like have met twice or whatever and I was just like you know doing the business thing and like being super calm be like you can call me back anytime I'm totally gonna answer you you know <laughs> stuff like that and that felt good so that's my success of the day or week that's great high five thank you I used to get like not quite anxiety attacks but my, my pulse would like notice yeah, yeah 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 same or, uh, whenever I called someone who who I didn't know or barely know it's gotten better with time mm. like actually realizing that people don't like being on phones when it's not for just catching up with people mm. so you know that the other person probably isn't a professional in phone calls it actually helps or help me oh yeah it's true so you're too professional I mean what you are too professional <laughs> <laughs> no Thirsty Plan says, I hate that too. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Tell you up as well. <laughs> Maybe that's, that's the Dragon Ball Silver, uh, what's it called? Um, cross eye thing. That looks so, like that. Oh, yeah. Like the, the one corner of the eye looks like another pupil. Mm. True, yeah. But it's not a pupil. Peasant. It's a teacher. <laughs> <laughs> that was bad. Sorry. I said it's a teacher, it's not a pupil. It's a te oh dear. Oh <laughs> dear. <laughs> okay, sorry. Oh, 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 I was gonna say, like, if you said today, today would have been terrible because. In 30 seconds. The only thing I did today was wake up, go climbing, and then draw. And I don't think the drawing thing was all that exciting. Mm -hmm. and the climbing part was even less Probably exciting because I just didn't get anything worth value done. Hmm. But I had one of my best D&D sessions on the weekend, so that's something. That's a success. That is a success. It counts. It was really cool. So one-on-one -on -one session, and then we had like an actual group session for a different campaign. Group session? Group session. Okay. Uh, group session. <laughs> group, yeah, that's all right. Yeah, you can tell just, it. Just had, just had, um, uh, what's, her, off. what's her name? Uh, not Reese Witherspoon, but... Reese with a spoon. The lady who played the lead in Shakespeare in Love. Have Gwyneth Paltrow. Gwyneth Paltrow. Gwyneth Paltrow. Just she was over and was selling us uh, her products. No, 
a group session where my the, the, the player I played that with was still buzzing with I I, I made one That's and a half weird. pages of summary and uh, I can think weird. about so many things. That was really cool. Okay, one more, or should I, should I do two more five minute ones? That's good, right? Sure, yeah, do it. Can you can you also please eat some chocolate? I feel like I'm I'm the only one devouring I've it. I've been yeah. eating chocolate all day. Oh my god, we've been eating so much sweets. Yeah. <laughs> It's I don't know what's unreal. happening. Real. We're losing control of our lives. That's right. Instagram says, "Love you, Eileen. Always go for the joke." That's right. Someone appreciates my jokes. Thank mm -hmm. you, Steve. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Aha. Aha. It's me with short hair. Wow, my hair has gotten so long. <gasps> Amazing. Oh, I can remember this. Uh, yeah. The sound you were making. <laughs> 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 That was crazy. Oh my god. Let's you do it. You can see like this. Oh my god. This is awesome. <laughs> right, let's do it. Let's, let's, <laughs> let's shoot some reference pictures next time. I want to do it again. Yeah. Sure. Let's do it. Yeah. Some naked ones, right? Naked. Oof. Naked. Five minutes, guys. But that, not if we keep eating all these sweets. I mean. Yeah, true. <laughs> yeah, I'm also. No, you're not. You're not. Mm -mm. I am. Mm-mm. So. Uh -uh. It's just the same calories as normal chocolate, which I think is stupid. Because it's vegan or what? Yeah. Mm. Which means it's supposed to be healthy. That's not but true these at all. Aren't healthy. Listen, I had like vegan waffle with ice cream, cream, strawberries, and strawberry jam drizzled on top of it, and it wasn't healthy. And I knew it, oh. and it was vegan, and I ate it. And I rubbed it all over my body. Not literally, but mentally, you know, like, yeah. you know, and then such a park away. Because you just have to build up to it. That's right. And then also literally, I ordered the second one and then I, <laughs> you know, went all the way. People looked at me and, and raised an eyebrow and then told them it's fine, it's vegan. And then they turned <laughs> to their foods and uh, nobody complained. Of course they didn't. They were just like, it's kind of she's living the dream. Yeah. It's like, like oat milk. That's what it's much I mean I really like it but it's 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 just water and sugar essentially yeah it's, yeah it's a shame that's okay <laughs> Lucas is in the house hello Lucas Crypto is he there, is in the house is there a challenge today it came a bit late no it's just portraits just for now portraits. if you want to you can draw me like one of your French girls but I yeah. don't know <laughs> one of the French Brits mm. Can draw me like one of your French press. Um, breads. That was a thing that we ah, did. Okay, yeah, French breads. Yeah, true. Mm. I was. Oh my god, it was one of the first streams. Yeah. I think. Draw me like one of your French breads. I remember Just that. The, the baguette lasciviously draped across a uh, sofa. Uh, how did we mm. come up with that? We were pulling things from uh, a hat. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, true. The first stream, the French press dis discussion again. <laughs> Yeah, well. <laughs> Love that you still remember my joke. Oh my god, this is your joke. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was, that was a good one. That was, yeah. For a second, I thought that was going to be the nose. Uh, no. Me too. I was just like, okay. Oh, going for a cartoon, I mean, now. Yeah, I can't help it. It's just so over the top. <laughs> <laughs> But we can make a challenge out of it, couldn't we? What could the challenge be? At some point, I would like to do like a like a challenge where we analyze style, like Disney or CalArts, and then draw. Oh portraits. yeah, we wanted to do that actually. We did that once. Yeah, but but did with we actual, we were. I yeah, have. it was more impromptu, but actually like going over um, what what actually makes the style tick and do some some short studies of it. The Calars has a very distinctive That's mouth. Crazy stuff. Hmm. And Disney has a very particular <laughs> head shape, I guess. <laughs> I liked it. You can. You yeah, keep no, it. I just wait. I just Sorry. have to. All good. Put this. That's all I wanted to add to that. Yeah, I think I was not there when you had this discussion that you wanted to do that. So I'm kind of mm. caught by surprise. That is cool. But do you mean like analyze it beforehand, before yes. stream? Uh, during. Like a, like a th maybe like a 30 minutes opening thing where for 10 minutes everybody gets to try out things with the style we talk about what makes it the what style it? Mm. like proportions or shapes or I don't know gesture or whatever that's wild 
I think that could be interesting. Kevin, what was your success of the day and or week? Um, hmm. I think it was... I can't think of anything funny. It doesn't have to be funny. Mine wasn't funny, I think. Uh, well, I think that should be funny. <laughs> <laughs> Needs to be funny. Watch Jeffrey Friday. Um, mm. well, my success of the week was probably... You did, you did do this crazy yoga session. I did do this crazy yoga session. It's your bike to tell the tale. You did? No, I can't think when I'm drawing. Sorry. Sorry, it's not working. It's okay. I'm just going to recap Kevin's successes for him that I know of. <laughs> so first of all, he did do this crazy yoga session. Uh, then today he he um, did a gray wall. <laughs> at, at, at a gray wall. Block, like a gray route at Osblock. Oh, time. Man, this, uh, it's okay. Okay, it's just warm up. Yeah, I'm just, I hate it when I'm fiddling around and nothing is happening with the drawing. It's like, oh man, what am I doing? What am I doing? <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! Uh, okay, a little bit warm up says, my success of the week was visiting Drink and Draw. Aww, yeah. that's so sweet. Yeah. It was this week, it's true. It's very sweet. Ooh, also, did okay. you notice 15 people already booked for your Yay. beginners? And there was another person writing like an email to Drink and Draw today saying like, oh. hey, can I join the beginners class on Saturday? And I was just like... Saturday? You can do it on Saturday. Right? I mean, for one person, no. impromptu workshop, 500 mm -hmm. euros, and you're in. Yeah. <laughs> I guess for one person, I, I, I would do it for 200, so it's, it's fine. Oh my god, that's cheap though. Yeah, that's cheap. That's cheap, boy. Um, but yeah, I, I told her to maybe book a ticket for Monday if she has time. So maybe there's cool. gonna be lots. 16. And I'm gonna do a story post about it again. Maybe even an Insta post if there are a lot of places left. But five people are like, you know, I think I we're should, gonna. I should make one too. Yeah. <gasps> of something. something Ooh. Like this. Sorry. Can I can I announce something? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I want to announce our new online workshop with Chris Kintner as the instructor. He is a concept artist uh, who has worked for Six for Vodka and Terraform Studios before. Mm -hmm. uh, as like the prime clients, I guess. And he's gonna do a workshop about shadow shapes. Yeah, right. It's Riot Games. Um, Riot Games. It's Riot. Uh, Terraforms is uh, uh, is from Finn. Fi I forgot his name actually, but it's a pretty cool studio. That's They're right. doing a lot of world building and stuff. So he probably knows, right? Probably. Um, but yeah, he's gonna do an online workshop on August twenty eighth. It's going to be about six lo hours long and he's going to talk about shadow shapes um, with the medium of life drawing, I think. So he's going to use mostly life drawing references and explain how shadows work, how light works, basically, and how you can make your drawings more readable by understanding this practice of mapping the shadows and whatever. And I think he's also going to touch on how to go forward once you have done the shadow mapping thing how you can actually transform that into a finished whatever piece or something so yeah if you're interested in that you can totally check out our website because there's a lot more written about the workshop and, uh, and about chris on there and you can also get your ticket there if you're interested that's it i think nice yes <laughs> Okay, something, someone wrote something. Hello, said Tama Weep. Hello, Tama Weep. Hey. Methyl orange, methyl orange, methyl orange. I remember that one. Okay. <laughs> wow, what did you remember? I'm sorry, didn't get the context here. Um, but hello anyways. Taliopa says, I think my success of the week was not throwing the computer out the window. That's good. Oh yeah. Nah, I made some major drawing progress thanks to Drink and Draw, but that didn't cost me as much as not throwing the Mac. That's right! Was it broken or did it malfunction or something? Because that always makes me literally cry. Like, literally. 
Um, anyways, Captain Kreuzschnabel says, I'm thinking about joining, but six hours. Is it too long? Do you think it's too long? It's six, it's six and a half hours, actually. Well, it's like six hours plus a bit, you know. I mean, you're getting something for your money, right? That's right. You get something for your money. And there will be like a lunch break and like, uh, I think, one big lunch break and two smaller breaks. So you will totally have time to fetch some snack areas and foods. Uh, there will, will be plenty of personal feedback, as far as I know. And I think it's going to be a good thing. It's Ignaf says, Finian McManus. Terrible. Ah, Finian McManus, yeah, that was it, yeah. Ye. Told you. Yeah, true. <laughs> yeah, true. Steven knows everything, man. Yeah. Taliopa says, word keeps crashing and eating my translation work. Oh my god, that sounds oh, so man. annoying. Yeah. Uploaded into a cloud instantly. Maybe, I don't know. That's what they want you to do. That's what they want you to do. And it actually could solve this problem. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> Lucas Cato says, all D&D &D online workshops have been super awesome so far. I can only recommend going for it. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh. So sad I can't take part. Oh no, uh. there's plans. Use LibreOffice instead. Ah. Uh. That's cool. Yeah, the online workshops have been like a project of basically Kevin and mine most of mostly this year and we've already had three I think and we're gonna have at least like Christmas workshop and then at least one more three yeah we had Sean we had Iga yes oh that's it okay we had two <laughs> <laughs> never <laughs> mind I was too excited <laughs> It's basically the the people we want to learn from. Uh, yeah. It's just like, wait, I was, uh, did I miss one? Mm. Number two. Now we're gonna have, yeah, we're gonna have Chris. I think I already counted that one as hmm. done. Cause I mean, there are also a few others that are still in, in planning, right? Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have at least one more in planning for October, and we're actually gonna have a live in person workshop in August. No, wait, in September. Never mind, sorry. Uh, and yeah, I think, um, I mean, we can spoil this to you, faithful stream c stream crew. I think we're going to have another one with Lars this year as well. Oh. If you're into Ooh. that. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we can think about if it's going to be online or in person, but maybe we'll see about enter uh, Delta having entered the chat room and stuff. <laughs> we're just going to do it online anyways i mean if it's just vaccinated people it should be fine they don't count for for group gatherings right i guess yeah i feel like everyone i i know has been vaccinated at least once really oh huh. right uh, i don't know how, 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 how many, who you know i mean i've been vaccinated Kevin yeah. has been vaccinated Kevin has been not sure what the rest of the i think all the drink and draws have been vaccinated yeah. mm -hmm. so uh, almost everyone i know <laughs> Mm. Captain Carter says, yes, the workshop is definitely worth the money and it's great that it's such a long workshop. I'm not sure yet if I can last for six hours after a 40 hour work week. Oh my god. Oh dear. And I still need to check if my lovely grandma wants to celebrate her birthday it's that weekend. Aww. It's time, Kevin. No it's worries. Uh, let's see it. I mean, so far we have plenty of spots left and um, just it's not going to be the last online workshop. It's going to be fine. Either way. Okay, so next person, right? right. Mm -hmm. Can I go? Before I'm too drunk. <laughs> I want to Google something and then I, I forgot what I wanted to Google. Mm, I, says, I do have auto oh, second Dropbox, but someone after the last update thing don't work and it's always just half an hour of work that is gone. Oh my god. If I have to find another solution for that. Neighbors might be wondering oh. whom I'm yelling out. Yep. Now, what? We bought some. Oh no! Turkish. More sweets. Mm -hmm. Oh dear. Turkish sweets today. Ooh, can Please we show the chat? Something. Look, chat. We bought some Turkish sweets. It's 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 pretty. Is it like like Turkish honey? Because in, in oh that is oh that's amazing. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. one, yeah. one is for you actually. Those are Thank like you. freaky little. Those those are okay, but the, the <laughs> those are freaky, man. They are like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in Malaysia, I used to eat them. And that's Bees? why, yeah, the Turkish oh, uh, yeah. stuff. Yeah, the Turkish honey is, is crazy awesome. Can't remember when I, when I actually had that for the last time. What Please try, Saya. What? 
Okay, some some kind of newfangled uh, foreign uh, treat. Interesting. A foreign a treat. Even though it's so cut off, I kind of want to do it. Mm. Mm-hmm. Did you do that before? That's good. I mean, I would not eat everything at once. I would try the other ones first. Because this is the best. This is the best, for sure. <laughs> the other ones are particular. Okay. Peculiar. Pa- peculiar. Is that like like uh, sweet and ginger or something? No. Just no? try it. Don't don't smell it. Just try okay. it. Okay. okay. You have okay. to take one complete one. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> should I take a big one or a small one? What do you think has the best effect? Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. all the rose one. The rose one. Which that, one is that? One? that? I think yeah. That one is pretty good. Yeah, yeah. That no, one. no, no, that one. No, the big small one. one. The big one. one? Rose oh, the big one. Yeah, completely, please. Rose ones. It's yeah. rose. It's rose. Um, flavor. Flavor. Yeah. Uh, I, I bought. Fo- I bought one. Full for disclaimer. Everyone. I do not know what this is, what it's made of. It's fine. What it's gonna <laughs> taste like. <laughs> it's gonna be fine. I had it. I had it. I had it already. <laughs> Is it good? Is it good? Mm-hmm. It literally. You like it? It tastes. It tastes of roses. It tastes yeah, like my mum's so like weird. body lotion. Yeah. <laughs> like literally. It tastes like body lotion. Ten yeah. out of ten. I don't like it. Kevin had the same body lotion as my mother, by the way, and yeah. it tastes like that. It smells good. I mean, mm. nothing against that. So at all. I wouldn't yeah. voluntarily eat more of it, but I thought <laughs> yeah. this was gonna be like super spicy or no, something. No, 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 nothing yeah. like that. I mean, they're mm. all very special in their in their flavor. That's why I just. Just mm. curious how you react to it, you know. Just when you said rose, there's okay. That, it's um. Hmm. This one is also very interesting. Oh the my green god, the green one. one. Yeah, yeah, the small green one. It's a gem, a little gem. It's a little gem. <laughs> <laughs> my expectations have sunk considerably, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that bad. It's all like it's sweets. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, melon, right? Melon, I yeah, I think so. It, it kind of tastes like a chewing gum. It does. Captain Kreischauer says, though, if my grandma celebrates her birthday, I will be near Berlin. Mike, visit the boat, do it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And I mean every flavor. Uh, it's not every flavor, but... <laughs> <laughs> I was... So... <laughs> when, when I was in the States, some... Um, well, I think exactly... Exactly ten years ago, I was offered a bag of um, sweets, and they told me, "Yeah, this is this is some some um, like prep ginger uh, sweet." Mm-hmm. And poor me at the time uh, didn't like hadn't uh, our kitchen never really had ginger at all, and the only you know the only confrontation so far I had with ginger was ginger ale. Uh, like the the drink, yeah. So I wasn't I wasn't thinking like spicy or anything like that. Mm. And I took one. It was like it had like dusted sugar and ginger on it as well mm-hmm. for some reason. Mm-hmm. So the first thing that happened was I, I bit into it, breathed in had like ginger covering the back <laughs> of my throat. I was, I was I was coughing and wheezing. It was really funny to the people there. It's just oh the European can't eat Japanese sweets. Oh my god. Oh, it's Japanese. Which I couldn't. Yeah, I think so. Mm. Like the, it was in Oregon, and they, I mean, it's not the same coast, obviously, but Japan was just across the pond. Mm. They had a lot, lot of Japanese... Just across the pond. Yeah. A bunch of Japanese restaurants and sweets and everything. Mm. These were, you know, non, like, non-westernized um, ginger treats. Mm. Uh, that, re- that reminds me of this one time Kevin and I went... We were still living in Dortmund, remember that? We went to the... To the like shopping mall or whatever like to mm. the Innenstadt in Dortmund to get something for our trip in, to Prague or something and there was like the Christmas market or something or like a general market and there was a person uh, like just selling cookies on a cookie stand which is like a nice thing you would think and he was giving away like um, you know free cookies so you <laughs> can taste them and like you know get get to see if you oh want yeah, to buy true. more I and then <laughs> I took one and it looked really tasty. It was like this, um, what's it called? Blätter teig. Oh dear. Like, oh. this like really crumbly, mm. nice dough. Like very like, it looked very yummy, but I didn't know that it was this, a ginger thing as well. And I didn't <laughs> like ginger at the at that particular time of my life. <laughs> and then I ate the whole thing. Like I got 
stuck it into my mouth and I literally had to like hold back my my like throwing up <laughs> reflex and the guy was just like looking at me just like do you love it and we're just like <laughs> just like swallowing it just like oh my god what was that it's terrible why you would would you ever put that into something sweet you know <laughs> ginger I, I really like ginger biscuits oh. so you're basically saying what you're drawing was your mood at the time yeah <laughs> yeah it was oh man I think I was actually like tearing because it was so terrible Nice, my baby. Oh, she loves it so much. It brought yes, her to tears. It made her cry. <laughs> That's, right. That's why I do this job. What's the time saying, by the way? I do not know. Oh. We have six seconds, oh apparently. Oh, okay. I'm not. And time. Let's try. But I'm happy with that. You can try this one as well. This is good. I, I think I've had enough of sweet things today. Listen, you just... How can you say that? You can't bring, like, a chocolate... I've, I've already eaten, like... Oh, my God, like we have to tear chips. <laughs> 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 Those aren't sweet. That's right, they're not. Man, yeah, I don't know. I just bought them yesterday for Aline, actually, and then I eat, ate them myself. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I didn't eat them completely, but, you know, I just snacked <laughs> them all the time. He was, like, coming into the room, like, snacking it, like, here, I bought this for you. <laughs> <laughs> for you, this empty bag. I thought you would like it. Ooh, that's nice. um, <coughs> that was a Harry Potter reference. I know. Ah, oh, sorry. I missed what they are eating. I, uh, we were eating Turkish Turkish sweets. Turkish sweets. Of various flavors. And bodies. And kinds. Okay, next one. Whew. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> it's also lovely. Oh. <laughs> I mean, yeah, why not? You know, I'm just gonna say why. This whole collection is just called Kodak Moment, right? Yep. <laughs> so more ginger, uh, ginger, uh, ginger. If I if I had known that we would go back to it so quickly, I would have put it in the freezer. I would like to wait. How how? It's been in the fridge for thirty minutes. Mm -hmm. What the gin? The tonic. I can and just the make gin. it for myself. Oh, we have crushed ice. You can, you can wait. Okay, no, don't don't get lost started. He was already so, complaining about yes about <laughs> the. Oh um, no! You were complaining about the tonic situation. Yeah, yes. the situation of the it's, it's coolness not of what. Of, of no the no, gym. I'm 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 sorry. It's, he was it's like, uh, this is not the red gin. This is not good. I like I I'm only like gin that is over fifty euros. <laughs> <laughs> so that's not the red gin, Kevin. Gordon's dry gin. <laughs> Are you being serious here? That's um. <laughs> that was the most expensive one they had in Rewe. Well, it was obviously not the most expensive store you went to. <laughs> 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 no, you see, so there. I told this Kevin before. Um, I think it's it's one of the biggest misconceptions in gastronomy that um, in astronomy, sorry. In astronomy, in <laughs> astronomy <laughs> on a galactic level <laughs> is what I'm talking at. All right. Um, stars have died, and this is not as important. Uh, that is not as important as what I'm about to know. In gastronomy, you know, in 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 the business of restaurants, um, that. Ice cubes are there to cool your drink. Uh -huh. This is this is fundamentally wrong. Oh, uh, okay. and I will I will not debate this. I think this is just fact. Okay. Because um, it's supposed to keep your drink cool. Because uh -huh. if you, for example, put fifty percent ice yes. into fifty percent uh, room temperature drink, yes. and say the ice is at a cool zero degrees Celsius. Yes. Um, and the drink is at a not so cool like 25 degrees. Wow, that's pretty warm though. That's literally room temperature. Okay, I should guess. Um, on a warm day, you want to drink something cool, you'll get like a middle ground between the two of like 15 degrees, which will then also continually heat up because it's going to go back to room temperature. Hmm. And it will also immediately melt the ice. So hmm. whatever carbonation you had is now halved. So it's gonna, and whatever, you know, flavor you had, and that's probably the worst part, is also going to be half because now you're dealing with water in your drink. It's like pouring actual water in your drink. But that's 
actually that's what I'm going for uh, when I'm making like alcoholic drinks with crushed ice because I want to dilute the alcohol. Yes, but you're also diluting the the um, actual carbonation. It's I'm not sure how you feel about carbonation, but I feel like that's like part of the fun. How did Jesus feel about carbonation? Because I know he had his wine with water. That's all I'm gonna say about that. What? There, there was, I don't know. There was no carbonation. <laughs> Listen. That, I think, what? So, no, it's just, you, you get, you end up with a super watery drink that has no carbonation. Mm -hmm. It's gonna feel like whatever fresh drink you had, it's gonna mm -hmm. taste like it was left out in the open for like three days with no lid on. And that's the, the effect you're usually going to get. So, mm -hmm. I feel like the, the, if you want to have a good drink mm -hmm. with carbonation and like good flavor, you want to keep it as close to zero degrees as possible. Wow. Yes. And, and when you drink, your tongue will just stick onto the glass. <laughs> and, and then, then you, you rip it off, and then you, and then you can't taste anything anymore. That's not how. That's not how how it happens. That's but not yes. how sure. drinking yes. works, Kevin. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, well, yeah. That's, be that's because Stephen, you're a plebeian, uh, apparently, when it comes to carbonated drinks. Um, <laughs> carbonated. Have, have at thee. Me, 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 me. I <laughs> challenge thee now. Um, no, it's 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 just the worst. Thing whenever you go to a restaurant and they pull out you know cola bottle from beside the fridge and then put a bunch of yeah okay I get that yeah and then you get this cola that's just uh, just tastes of sugar because there's no carbonation nor is it cool so it's, it's just why even put the ice in I prefer to not have ice in that case because why would I ever want to order watered down cola honestly less sugar maybe. I'm, I'm here for the watered down drinks I don't know. I, I don't hate them. They're You're still free to just add water to your drink, but that's not the not point the of ice cr ice cubes. I guess, yeah. It's very radical, Lars. I feel I like I, I get sure. your point, but I don't. You know, I don't feel as strongly about it as you do. But that's okay. You know. That's fine. You might drink you. drinks for other purposes than than carbonation, but. I'm not a big yeah. fan of, of, of alcohol, so whenever I have like gin tonic, I'm, I'm more here for the drink A being cool. Oh, yeah. And, and that's also going to hurt, right? Um, going to hurt? What do you mean? Hmm? Like in my heart? Hurt? Yes, or? yes, oh. on, 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 on a uh, emotional uh, soul, right. soul level. No, I mean, that's also going to suffer. Um, because whatever drink you had, I mean, it's, 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 it's just you have, you know, 30 degrees, whatever drink and the zero degrees ice cube is going to be like a not so cool drink when you instead had like a five or ten degree drink and the zero degree ice cubes it's going to be considerably warmer than what you could have that's right there's also a cool thing you can do and this is this is this is more my you know me um, what's the time saying what is the time saying zero oh yeah I was going to say my inner inner clock was going uh, no. <laughs> something cool you can do um, I mean, th this is just me being, being, what's the English word for Spielkind? Devil's advocate? Oh no. No. <laughs> uh. You're being playful. It's not, it's not, it's not man child. That's not, I'm not going to accept that. Um, just being, I don't know, fanciful with your drinks. If you put, uh, any kind of carbonated drink into your, um, freezer. Uh-huh. One second, water-filled plastic balls. Yes, that's like the, the non-destructive ice cubes that won't water down your drink. That's cool, you can also, which I like, is use um, Marbles or ice cubes made of the same drink or made of lemon, because that always enhances your experience, if you like. Anyway, um, I like frozen things. Uh, so you can put a bottle of carbonated drinks into into the fridge. Berlin? Carbonation keeps something from melting. Vielleicht checkst du mal das Referenzbild, wie groß das ist. Because of pressure. And if you if you're careful about it and you don't get the drink like below too much too far below zero degrees, um, once you take it out of the fridge and you open it, it starts to freeze up. But the carbonation is going to keep it in motion. So it's going to be like like fluffy ice in your drink suddenly. It's 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 a weird thing that happens. Hmm. Who's writing this? Taliopa saying something. Can you read it? Yeah. 
Uh, we talked about um, the water filled plastic balls, like the non destructive ice cubes. And mm -hmm. then <clears throat> it's hard to make ice from hard, hard alcohol. I don't drink hard alcohol usually. So, yeah, but I, yeah like a freezer that's super powerful, like what, 15 minus 30 degrees or something? <laughs> yeah. I think ours is just minus 15. Nah. Or no. like even right. minus 8 or whatever. Mm. Yeah. Like max. Household yeah, freezers are not too far below zero. Yeah, okay, true. Can, probably can freeze alcohol with those. I think we should really buy a new freezer, a uh, new uh, fridge. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Get one that makes ice cubes, that's great! No, 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 no. <laughs> I would love that, honestly. I just, just sneak in constantly. I'm gonna be the, the ice cube gremlin. I don't know where we should put it. It lives know. in the walls. Oh, oh, I, I know. I have space in my room. You can totally put it there. <laughs> Do you know how loud it is? Like just having a fridge. Yeah, I don't, I don't it's a, it's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. <laughs> but it's not easy to make ice cream. I tried to make Aperol penguins, but they won't get non-floppy. Mm. Mm. Aperol penguins? That's mm. cute. That's really cute. Mm. Also, screw you, Stephen. You're going to be particular about something in your life, right? <laughs> everyone has is, is supposed to be particular about, about about something. What is Kevin particular about, Lars? What is Kevin particular about? Time. Time, perhaps. Yeah. Uh, sleep schedule, perhaps. I never get enough sleep. That's why I'm so <laughs> particular about it. Yes. And I never really. I don't know. Yeah. Whatever. I mean, I'm just trying to think of. of like a hobby or, or like like a non-essential thing that you're particular about. Yeah, true. That makes more sense. It's also more fun. Like something where you know, if it was, if we didn't agree that it's non non-essential, would be weird to be to 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 talk about it. I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, non-essential. It's interesting because Kevin is very particular about his clothing, like how he feels that day and how which of his white shirts that to me look completely identical <laughs> he's gonna wear he's literally like wearing a white shirt and black pants like looking in the mirror just like ah, hmm. and then he like, goes back to his room gets the same white shirt it's like literally same cut same color all the same puts it on he's like yeah it's much better and i'm just like all right <laughs> You're Kevin. right. It's about how you feel in it, you know, not, not exactly how I look in it, uh -huh. to be honest. Okay, yeah. Because you know, some shirts I have, the, the, um, the material is a bit different. And they're maybe more washed out or less washed out, so it's maybe softer or so a bit more hard. Why do you even have the ones that make you feel uncomfortable then? It's because they need a bit more time. It's certain days, though. Yeah, it's yeah, not it's every okay, day. Okay. It's like they just need a bit days. more time until they're more washed out and they get a bit, you know, softer. Gotcha. Yeah. I was going to say, this is about being somewhat irrational, so sure. <laughs> that's, that's, I think that, that counts. Shouldn't yeah, yeah, I would say so. Shouldn't, you shouldn't even argue here. <laughs> trying to get behind it and no. I mean, see, I can understand, I don't get it, but that's how you were with, with the eyes. But honestly, the eyes is just math. Just why do you want to cool your drink and then you do everything to make it as warm as possible considering the circumstances? Well, just I'm not good at math, no so that makes it all sense. Oh, right wow. <laughs> The goal is to make the drink as cool as possible without freezing, so why start with room temperature, uh, of all things? Okay, Kevin, or Lars, and or Lars, what is something I'm particular about? Uh, I mean, this, this, this is, this I totally understand, but um, shoes in the household? <laughs> I feel like it was something where um, you would preemptively <laughs> keep people from, from you know, walking with shoes because they couldn't be trusted to actually take them off. Yeah. Yeah. Luca, where's the fender? <laughs> um, but yeah, that, that's just cleanliness, I guess. Yeah, okay, that's, I, that's, that's not. A, I yeah. wouldn't say it. I, I think, think it's too particular really. about that. It's, it's sometimes. Not, it's it, part, it's, it's like you you've been burned and you're trying to not get burned again. It's, it's just, like no, it's literally because I vacuumed and. Yes. Yeah just like why would you vacuum when people are just walking in with their street shoes mm -hmm, mm -hmm. putting stuff everywhere i think that's not irrational or like no. not like you know peculiar it's not mm. really peculiar i think time is up but i just fuck i guess not quite peculiar but 
there's, there's something about your attitude towards um, oh. how do I how do I put this? Oh. Keep, keeping apples um, around. Apples. Yes. Wait, what do you mean? Apples. It's funny that you don't even don't even you know. Do you know what he means? No. What, what are you talking? This about? Mi might have. Is this the thing that was just around when when Ola was still here? Yeah, ha the half-eaten apples and half-eaten bananas. Yeah, true. It's just it's still because happening. I don't want. It's still a happening, <laughs> It's okay. I, it's a war. I cannot win. So it's, it's you know. It makes sense. Oh, Kevin, sure. Do you want to eat half of this banana now? This, this banana. My, the, the my <laughs> spicy rice. <so> <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, I couldn't think of anything better than this now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> this banana that's that's already like sit, sit, sat outside the. The fruits basket for half yeah. a day. Kill me, please. My life is pain. I mean, listen. <laughs> you know, sometimes I'm making a bowl with fruit and yogurt, and I just don't want like a complete banana, like just like barging in there, like spreading everywhere. I just want a bit, you know, just a bit. Sure. Not the whole thing. Should could eat the the <sighs> second half with uh, with. Uh, peanut butter, or but it's alright. It's alright. You fool. Uh, it's alright. It's a it's a war. I can't win, as I as I said. <laughs> I mean, both of you reckon like, oh, this is not a thing anymore, and then you just cave and I cannot win this. I cannot win this. <laughs> no, I'm just making it fun. <laughs> I don't know if there's ever a day where I feel like having a whole apple. I feel like I'm half an apple. Speaking of which, I found the funniest thing at the supermarket yesterday. An apple? Mm -hmm. Not quite. Um, before I start, because I, I, I love this. I love when, when, when supermarkets are trying to sell you something based on healthy living. Mm -hmm. um, and one of these things, I'm not sure where it started, but to me it's always a British thing, where they have like, eat five a day, which mm -hmm. like could be three vegetables and two to um to fruits oh, yeah, yeah. or something it makes kind of kind of sense right like like one serving of raspberries you're supposed to eat like 80 grams of raspberries or one apple mm -hmm. and that's one of the five yesterday i found um one of these uh where they said eat one of these five per day oh no uh on a pot of basil basil yes <laughs> What the fuck? How does that look like? What does it look like? Just, yeah, I'm gonna eat this darn thing. <laughs> and that's one of the five, the entire fucking thing. Just... Oh, guys, we need to get rid of this basil. Nobody, nobody's buying it. Well, we can just tell them that it's very healthy. Just get one of those five things we don't need anymore. Yeah. Hey, kids. Oh hey, kids. You need healthy a lot of living. Basil. Eat this plant. <laughs> I mean, you could kind of get away with it, like pesto. I get, you mm. could use a whole basil for that, yeah. Yeah, mm. but, there's, there's like, but even then, like with all the oil, it seems like more detrimental to your health than anything else. But mm. I, I actually was, I was glad I had a mask on because I just started giggling like a maniac when I saw it. just yeah, <laughs> the whole freaking plan. Just, yeah. yeah, 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 that works. But again, it's also parmesan and and oil and everything. Just, just. Have like a couple of spoonfuls of of basil. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that was just intensely. I'm, funny. I'm feeling inspired. Oh, the pesto cum was there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I thought the half just, apple. Just, just bring like a like a stalk of basil. <laughs> just like here we go. Yeah, you're gonna gonna need to eat like 50 leaves of this. I mean, that has nice shadow shapes. I'm not gonna be too particular about my reference. Shadow shapes. Can I put this? Oh, yeah, okay. uh, does that work? Yeah, you have to, you have to, you know, work a bit on the framing then in the stream. I think. That's, that's <laughs> fine. I don't like how all of this doesn't quite gel. Hmm. Mm. So wait, the doing? consensus was that the tonic is not cool enough uh, yet, right? Oh, huh? yes. Okay. How, how long does it need to stay there? Uh, in the freezer for like 20 minutes. I have it in the freezer now. An hour. Really? Yeah. How do you fit the it in And I just... It know, should probably be enough for you stuffed it into that. Because it's been all in there for almost an hour now. Hmm. Uh, with the fridge. Usually I'm, I get worried about my drinks in like a liter bottle uh, past the 
40 minute mark. Yeah. That's when I, I it could be too, because it, then the pressure is so so much that once you open it, it just <laughs> comes off the top. That's the, the danger. Um, have I started? No, I haven't started the time. No, no, no. Five minutes. So I think after this pose, we could probably go back to it. Uh, okay, that's that's not good. Don't don't minimize. No, I know. I know. Do I know, not I know. minimize it. Do not minimize Just it. Just click on the one. Click on the right. Ah, yes. This one. <laughs> but now the reference is gone. You just, just click, click on, on the, the reference, reference then. <laughs> yeah, it's right. Now there. my time is gone. <laughs> Three seconds gone. Let's get more drinks. No. Yeah, sure. Drinks? I, I still have my drink. Can, uh, <laughs> Did I you like drink. refill only the drink? drink? Yeah, because you had a bit of gin tonic still, and Lars was like, um, <laughs> I don't want any gin that is plus 50 degrees. Yeah. Same. That's why I just. <laughs> <laughs> Next time, I'm, just gonna, I'm, just gonna, I'm gonna keep this this one really nasty bottle of gin tonic like, <laughs> <One>. <laughs> for a day, and then, oh, you want one that's like, you know, 30 degrees or standing 30. out in the sun the entire day and has no carbonation anymore? It's just as good, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> why don't you enjoy it? Enjoy it! It's just, it's just the same. We all know that it is not. Uh, this is what I need, a, a soft... A, a you can go to brushes. There, no. you, you can find your brushes. Right, but I can also do it just, just here. Best that's, dry brush. That's, that's how it works. Uh -oh. Knock back some of these lines. Oh, isn't that nice? <laughs> So guys, next week we'll actually be doing the stream on YouTube. Uh, we just didn't do the switch today because we started too late and they need a 24 hour time period to set up the yeah, live streaming. Whatever, whatever something like that, that yeah. yeah. So yeah, next week we'll be on YouTube. <coughs> I think that will be better for the better. For the better. Um, for the greater good. For the greater good. Because then everything is on one page. It's not on Twitch, not on YouTube and blah. And on Discord, it's just on YouTube. Right? Mm -hmm. Right. Right. And then we're gonna be proper YouTubers. I'm so excited. My, my we're gonna 15 do year old Eileen would be so happy. <laughs> Can, then we're gonna make like like crazy YouTube thumbnails too. <gasps> oh my god, yeah. Clickbaits. Like yeah, like just just us going. <gasps> he drew what? <laughs> he drew what? He drew a nipple. Oh my god. And we're gonna like dumb. censor something really weirdly. Yeah. <laughs> she did what with the apples? <laughs> 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 she just ate one half and. It, <laughs> yeah. Actually, <laughs> this is this is quite literally. <laughs> she did what with the apples? Doctors would hate her. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no. They would. I. I don't know. How did. How did. Oh, there. There was this really funny, uh, writing prompt the other day, where it was like, uh, "It's it's day seventy five. Um, your apple, uh, supply has been depleted to just two apples, and you can hear the doctors in the walls." <laughs> <laughs> I love that so much. Just the idea that like doctors are a threat, like a horror movie threat. Yeah. Do you know where this comes from, actually? This uh, saying of apple, an apple a day keeps the doctor away? Actually, no. Is it from the apple lobby? Can yeah, say it? Stephen told me. That's why I'm, I'm uh, mentioning it, because he was the one who told me that's ah. actually an apple industry um, apple. thing. Actually, to just... So much power, the apple industry. Mm. <laughs> Everything <laughs> about, like, do you know this, um, the food pyramid? Oh, that yes. was like in every like doctor's practice a while ago. It's that not only in doctors; it's also in your school books. It's everywhere, it's right? Everywhere. And that's just—it was just like some uh, post Second World War kind of um, advertisement mm -hmm. scheme mm -hmm. because bread and grains were so easy to produce yeah. and so cheap. Mm -hmm. And they were just like, "Yeah, let's just like build everything around that." Around bread. Around bread. Around bread. Bread and butter, but butter is actually in the highest 
like a little pointy thing because mm -hmm. it was with the fats. I think you should mm -hmm. really yeah. supposed to have a little, little bit of that. Thirsty plants. I mean, same for milk. Yeah. <gasps> Same for milk, yeah, same eating, for bread. Uh, yeah, drinking milk for calcium, right? It's Ew. good for the for your bones, right? That's what they tell you. Yeah. Did you know? It's not. It's I heard it's terrible. not, but I'm, I never um, looked it up, to be honest. I never looked it up either. But what I did was watch the movie called A Calcium Kid with Orlando Bloom as the lead role. Um, and he's a milkman that's our... Um, he's milking... Waters. No, no, no. He's a milkman. Okay. He looks like a really, like, you know, like a young little fellow, very, like, soft cheeked mm. and round. And mm. he's, like, training for fun in, like, this boxing arena thing. And then there's, like, this pro boxer of this, like, boxing club. Mm. And he's going to have, like, a pro fight, I don't know, four weeks mm -hmm. from then. And he, he, like, boxes against Orlando Bloom. And then he hits Orlando Bloom on the head and he breaks his hand because mm -hmm. his bones are so strong because he's a milkman drinks a lot of milk right um and then oh God, Orlando Bloom that? has to replace him in this like champion fight because there's literally no other boxer in this fucking gym that can do that or whatever Obviously. and then he just gets gets like he's slammed like, he gets slammed a pro time, fight time is, time is up yeah time's up so if you ever want to watch a cheesy movie with Orlando Bloom playing a milkman watch the calcium kid Thank you. That was my TED talk. It was a good TED talk. Thank you. <laughs> That's a cool shape. You're a cool shape. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're the cool yeah, shape. No, never. <laughs> Actually, Joao said that he wanna. Uh, he said he would be open to join the, the stream. What does that mean? Join the stream as a washer? Or maybe you come here, or maybe we do some. <laughs> cool. Um, do some. You know, call with him and then go live or something like that. It could be cool. I and mean, we wanted to do that anyway, right? Getting some artists. Did we? And draw with them together. Aren't we like the most exclusive group there is on yeah, the true. entire world? Yeah, true. We're just exclusive. Hiding all the way down. Yes, it's just me beat. Okay, I'm just gonna do this one then. Whatever. Finally managed to get my Twitch account back. Says. Yay. Yeah. Ooh, cut. 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 cut, cut Tati artists. Yeah, dude, get Joe on screen. I think he'll be super fun with him, actually, because he's he's a mm -hmm. he's the funny guy. He's a funny guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, unlike the Germans who take humor very seriously. Humor? humor. What is humor? What's the English word for this? Hum humor is not laughing matter. What? What's the English word for the the little dividers you put between your groceries when you're done with you? Oh no. What's the German word for that? There's no word for that. There is a word for that. Really? It's like this is like one of the most prevalent like German trivia that's also immediately forgot immediately forgotten the next day. Mm. <coughs> Katia, this first time being able to be in a life. Mm. Wow! Welcome. Yes. Let me tell you, it's so much fun. Yeah. It's just. We're I having so much fun. Ha ha ha. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's actually fun. But I saw a meme the other day, that's why I'm talking about this right now, with the dividers between the groceries. And it was like, um, show me something that clearly shows me that you're in Germany without, you know, saying that you're in Germany or like, you know, mentioning it in mm -hmm. any way or form. It was just like two of the dividers you put between the groceries and then just like one Snickers. Mm -hmm. So it was like divider, a lot of space, Snickers, a lot of space, divider. And I was like... I think it was a Polish friend of mine who posted that, and I kind of didn't get it, but maybe that's the thing, because I'm German, and I think that's completely normal to do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, that's how you do it, right? You just use things. So the, Order. the cashier person knows that's your that's what you want to buy, it, and they don't mix it up, toss it in with hmm. the, the person in front of you or like behind you. They accidentally buy it bought a Snickers that I didn't want. Yeah, that would be terrible. Mm -hmm. I'd hate that. So it's a graph. Uh, he dropped something. What's the German's answer to the question, what is 81 divided by 9? What? 9. 9. 9. <laughs> nine. <laughs> nine. <laughs> Wait, I, d I do not get the joke because that is very much correct. Nine. Nine. Stop. Warentrennstab? Really? Is that a word? Warentrennstab? Um, oh, it sounds magical. Oh, sounds like to me. Lettuce glass, like plate, the most German thing I've 
I've seen by far. The lettuce glass? The lettuce glass. Like, plate? What do you mean by that? The lettuce glass? Well, we're in, like we're in Berlin. That is not really Germany. like plate. Ah, I, I feel... They keep saying that, which... Or bowl. I, I think you know what I mean. It's like a it's like a bowl or plate that looks like a piece of lettuce. Is that right? It's like what grandmas sometimes have to put like a casserole or whatever on it. What's lettuce again? Lettuce is like salat. Salat. I don't eat salat. I only eat meat. It's some, like a bowl made of glass but looks like lettuce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I know what you mean. I think it's not even a lettuce. I think it's um, cabbage. Like a cabbage leaf. That's my mm -hmm. suggestion. Um, Thirsty Plants, even if you don't, the grandma behind it puts puts it there. Yeah, as she should. <laughs> this is how <laughs> things should be. Divine order. Listen, I have worked in a supermarket. I have dropped there before, uh, right after school, and I just hated it when people didn't do it. It's mm. so confusing. It's just, you know, no. Michael was talking about the trench shop. Yeah, yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me too. Talking about the trench shop. I'm always <laughs> talking about the trench shop. <laughs> and when I'm not talking about it, I'm thinking about, about it. <laughs> How much time do you have? I do not know. Take a I look. Like a minute. A minute. Ah, oh, perfect. Yes, indeed. <laughs> yes. Yes. You sound like a soother from I from uh, from Mistborn. <laughs> You keep telling mm -hmm. me that I sound like. Do I just sound like the guy? Yeah, reading it? I think is, you is should. That, is that think, you know what? I think you should just do audiobooks, Lars, because uh, the voices you make they, they could easily be in that audiobook for sure. Where do I apply? Yeah, I wonder. Voice school. Well, yeah, I probably have to get like an actual acting degree for this to work. You could do it, man. Easy. Oh yeah. That could be a second stunt bind. You could be a Quereinsteiger. <laughs> Um, actually, I have a question for people in chat. I really want to watch a funny movie soon, and I just can't think of any funny movies. Because you're German. Yeah. <laughs> Tropic Thunder. Tropic Thunder? What is it? Uh, 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 it's it's a comedy movie from. Actually, let me let me draw this real quick so I can. But, like, Thirsty Plant says, "I'm sorry, Aline. I'm one of the people who doesn't put it there." The trench stop. Really? Uh, <gasps> the just become famous. My so I, I never got to ask this um, a cashier no. before because I, I I I use the trench stop. Yes. Um, usually. Yes. I know. I just want to fill in this this, this shadow. You usually what? I usually use it, mm -hmm. but not if I'm the only one in line because I, I feel like that's insulting. That's okay. But actually, it's not too stupid to do it because um, the like the what's it called? the rail you put your shit on you know it just like keeps rotating and there's like a little sensor at the very front uh, and when something is in front of the sensor it stops you know oh. moving and okay. when you when you're the last person in line and you have the thing behind your thing it will just stop moving once the cashier is done putting all the scanning all your items and actually she or he or the non-binary person sitting there will probably put the thing there anyways because it's just annoying as fuck if the thing keeps rotating all the time. Mm. That's what I always did. I just mm. like, put it there whenever there was no one there so the thing wouldn't move. Mm -hmm. So it's not insulting if you do it, Lars. Mm. Okay. From cool. my part of view. It's just so it's my turn right it's now, It's just... Right? Um, mm -hmm. Yes, it is. You don't have we'll to. We'll be doing 15 minutes. Sure. And then we're all doing 15 minutes and then we're done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 15. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. yeah. That sounds good. Is it already? Oh yeah. Okay. You can also make more drinks. Yeah. Someone yeah. Make can you make drinks. me one as well? Can yes. you make me one as well? <laughs> yes. <gasps> yes. All right, guys. What are they called? The glasses. It's it's a glass. I guess it's a glass. It's a glass. That's yours. That's Kevin's. Oh, that's Kevin's. Um, They're all the same. I'm just gonna make these in in, in order. Whatever. D d do I'm it. Make this one quick because Kevin can't really draw right now. Sure. Uh, Tadio, wait, no. Uh, just become famous. Jumanji with the rock. I heard about that one. Is it really good? Mm, please pay attention. If you open the freezer, it may fall out. Okay. How much gin would you two like? Do you take a 50 50 or oh, like, like. No, no, no. Uh, two centimeters. Two 50 feet? 50 feet? That's how people Damn. usually serve it, apparently. Uh -uh. I was with ice, then, right? You have ice and then you fill up and then it's 50 50. I, uh, I'll just do two centimeters, like, like this much gin. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And like that much ice yeah. and just top it off with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 
Jumanji, is it really good? I heard it's good, but I... No? Okay, I'll write it on my list. Jumanji! Do you want to watch that with me? Uh, Jumanji... Kung Fury, yeah, that's a, that's a classic. That is a classic. If you enjoy movies with The Rock, then Jumanji is very funny. I don't know, I, I don't see, I think I've ever seriously watched a movie with The Rock. Yeah, I don't like The Rock, to be honest. It's, uh, it's this American... I mean, yeah. it's just this American humor. Uh, it's, I don't know, I don't like it. Ah, Taliopo was wondering why the Trenchstab was um, lying oh. around at the at the empty things. But yeah, that's why. Because the thing will stop moving if it's there. Um, okay, Kung Fury. What's Kung Fury? Kung Fury is a funny kung fu movie. Is it the one we watched with the grandma and the? Yeah. Ah, okay. I watched that. It's a classic. I mean, I can watch that every time. Steven and me liked it. Okay, that's good. If you want to laugh, I will recommend America the Motion Picture. You can find it in Netflix. Ah, is it the? Okay, wait. America. Kevin's. That's good. Perfect. Mhm. Mm that yeah. is the image I will take. Kung Fury. Holy shit! I watched mm -hmm. it. You watched it. I did watch it. Dang it! Yeah, it's it's I classic. It. It's classic, guys. It's an fun? animated movie. Hunt for the Wilder People. Um, Fifteen Hunt minutes. For right. Thunder. Tropic Thunder. Let's do this, guys. Wilder people. Okay. It's an animated movie from the director of Spider Man into the Spider Verse. Oh, that's cool. Wait, is it the American motion picture? Yeah, yeah, I think it's cut the artist. Okay. We don't really like the American humor either, but for the some reason it worked with this case. Okay. Okay, let's try it out. I think that's Jumanji then. It's like a new version of the independence of the USA. Okay, it's the animated movie again. A really 80s and 90s one, so that's my good recommendation. All right, cool, thank you. Because I feel like I remember when I was a kid and my grandparents would look through the TV magazine, like where they write down what's on TV. No one has that anymore, I think. Uh, and sometimes they would be like, oh, I really want to laugh hard this night like I really want to have something to laugh and as a kid I never got it I was just like well life is pretty cool and funny why you know why would you need to look at something funny now just that to get life a laugh? is not funny anymore but now need movies now I feel like I get Sorry. it sometimes I just want to really giggle off to something and sometimes I mean as sad as it sounds it's not that it's not meant that sad but sometimes like the, your daily routine just doesn't get you the laughs you kind of want for that day. We no. laugh a lot. We do. Yeah. But just, yeah. Just uh, because she's living with me and I'm a funny guy. <laughs> He's a funny guy, what can I'm you say? I'm a funny guy. Very funny guy. I'm also quite partial to Scary Movie 3. Oh, uh, really? I know, I, know, I know that one. You've seen 3? Yeah. I mean, it's been, been like 20 years since last I saw it. Yeah. Well, not quite, but, you know, like 12. I, I think I've saw... I've seen the one, two, three, and four, because mm. that was like the thing in mm. seventh grade or whatever it was that like was. Like my, my gateway drug into you know actual signs and actual. Mm -hmm. Sorry, good. I haven't. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. I should get it voluntarily. Jumanji. Scary movie. Oh. Heart. No. Heart. No. Ananas Express, aber nicht im nüchternen Zustand. Mm. Mm. No, I don't like that. Oh my god, oh my god, you have never seen um, Lamborg, right? No. We should watch Lamborg, it's actually pretty funny. Lamborg. Lamborg, and it's a German movie. Um, Ananas Express, I've never seen that one, I think. It's about weed though, right? Yeah. Am I correct? Oh man, the weed jokes are getting... <laughs> Okay, Always yeah. the same. Oh, I'm so hungry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, but there is actually, as far as I remember, there's a funny weed movie. It's called Grasgeflüster. That was the German name. And it was about these grandmas just like um, having a plantage. 
like a weed plantage in their greenhouse and they didn't know what it was because it was like their I don't know like grandchild putting it there or whatever and then they just like went with it and at some point they found out and then they just got really high and it was funny I don't know maybe it wasn't funny but I thought I liked it when I was 14 haha <laughs> Now I want to watch Gras Crystal again. <laughs> there we go. See? <laughs> oh, wow. Everybody hating on scary movie. Holy shit. Yeah, I'm sorry. All good? <laughs> All good. I feel like scary movies, same category as like American Pie. You know, it's just like either you like it or you hate it. Sure. I mean, it's, it's by... Scary Movie 3 is by the same guy who did um, Naked Cannon and Airplane and Top Secret. Oh, but I don't like this kind of humor, honestly. The what kind of humor do you think that is? Wait, the airplane? Wait, is that where the people are on the airplane and like this one guy keeps spilling his drink on his on his shirt? I, exactly, and, yeah. And he's like, he has a drinking problem? So, of all these oh movies, my God. I, haven't, I haven't seen Airplane. Okay. But like Top Secret has so much like absurdist humor. Ah, uh, top secret, I remember. Gras Crystal is great, says Little Fat Mama. Thank you. <laughs> also Hot Shots, I think. It's by, the, by him too. David Zucker. Uh, I feel like it's... It's like when parents want to watch L'Oreal with you. It's like... What? Yeah, it's okay. You know, sure, I get why you think it's funny, but also... I'm a bit younger and in particular, I mean, Honest, yeah. I, I feel like it's it's actually the kind of humor that's come around is kind of like the, the lol random humor from nowadays almost. Mm. I mean, yeah? um, the setup for the joke is they're sitting in a train and then, you know, the outside is moving as if the train was moving and you see that the actual train station is mm. being lorried away. Yeah. That's... I, f I feel like that's totally humor that would still work nowadays, and I, don't know, I love that kind of absurdist, yeah. stupid humor. Because you have to, somebody has to have thought of this. This isn't like like toilet humor where uh, saying profanities is funny. This is like we had to put actual thought into this. I don't know. Mm, it doesn't tickle my giggles though. That's that's fine. That's I mean I'm not saying I'm just trying to you know it's not yeah yeah i mean I, i'm not saying it's stupid i'm not saying it's like um not smart you know it's smart it's it's like has it just also there are some funny l'oreal clips i don't want to hate on l'oreal he's like an icon and everyone loves him and it is totally cool and i appreciate his humor i can watch it with my parents if they do want me to hmm. but i'm just not like no i get it i you know i, I don't it's not same thing it's not like i don't like l'oreal we performed like a sketch in, in school for like half a year it felt like <coughs> studying and learning the different roles whatever um but what i don't get can you show is how he can keep laughing at it mm. because my my mother uncle and stepfather would always go uh, and now this joke is coming up and then the joke comes up and they laugh as if they heard it for the first time yeah yeah, yeah. and it's also like every year they watch it just i'm I know it's kind of funny, mm. like it's, there's actually humor being presented, but mm. I'm more concerned about how it's perceived by everyone but me, so I cannot laugh about yeah. it. Yeah. What is happening? Why mm. is it? It's kind of like dinner for one. Yeah. I liked it as a child, but now I'm, I think I'm over it. Mm. I feel, I feel you, yeah. Okay. Thirsty Plan says, what tickles your giggles, like given film example? Okay. Oh, I think the movie where I laughed a lot, but it's a bit, it's not as well known, is uh, Mutafukas. Oh, yeah. It's actually one of Kevin and mine's favorites, I think. Um, it's like an animated movie. I think it's French and Australian or something. I don't know. But it's really, I, I, I laughed so hard. I don't know. It was just so... Oh, okay, wait. Is there a well, more well-known one that I... That I can. Mm, hmm. What movies are funny, Kevin? <laughs> Which ones did we like? Which movies? Oh, yeah, like Shrek 2. Oh my god, Shrek 2. <laughs> that is that so funny. Yeah. Shrek 2 is pretty funny. I, never, I've nev I, I had never seen it, and then we watched it this winter during oh lockdown. God. And it was actually I pretty was good. I was laughing tears. 
Um, like so just good. the scene when when they when the police like gets a hold of them and this one guy is like putting pepper into his eyes and it's just like oh man okay yeah. it's that, pretty good that one hit twice because mm -hmm. wait this is really funny because it's it's pepper and then realize oh because they don't have pepper spray because yeah, it's the middle they, ages so they oh my god yeah it's like one two punch that's of genius, a joke yeah. it's great yeah that's really good um what else I feel like. I'm laughing more with animated movies than with real life people he movies that are trying to be funny. I was laughing a lot in My Hero Academia. Hmm. At this joke with the my character design prevents me from playing the guitar. Like mm -hmm. that kind of visual humor would get mm. super meta. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I thought that was I had to I had to actually stop the thing and then then keep watching after I calm down. I feel like the kind of humor I like is <laughs> like the the a little bit like the 2015 YouTube humor. Uh, uh, maybe that's not a good. That is a very particular statement. Yeah, I know. I think one of the people I loved most about YouTube was literally Jenna Marbles. I don't know if anyone can relate to that, but I really liked her. And her humor is just, yeah, it's just a bit random. It's like funny words. It's being extra and over the top, but like also very kind hearted. It's not like the, the humor on suspense of someone else, you know, but she's mostly mm. just laughing about random stuff or herself or her dogs. Sure. Now I feel bad about no, saying... No, no, that's okay. No, it's like my favorite video of hers, and I, I have to admit I haven't seen many of them, mm. but I really, really liked her Hillary Clinton ad videos. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because those are... Yeah. <laughs> I keep quoting these, like, involuntarily sometimes, because they're... I know. Just, they're just doing this. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, just so good. Oh, man. Did you know that she was actually asked? Yes. Yeah, okay. But do tell chat because it's a great story. Yeah, so Jenna Marbles did some, when Hillary Clinton was campaigning against Donald Trump, she did some, and I think even the election before, something like that, I don't know. She did some videos uh, where she kind of cosplayed as Hillary, Hillary Clinton and did like a fake um, election video, like advertisement. And it was really funny. And then, she, like, the the campaign bureau of Hillary Clinton like reached out to her and was like hey do you want to like interview Hillary Clinton like in a TV show and she declined because she didn't want to um, you know put like a political opinion on her audience because all her stuff was like really lighthearted and not really political and she's not displaying any opinions or like wanting to have that sort of um, influence I guess um, I think she declined, but she was like, I think she, I don't know if she answered that or if she just told that to her audience, but she was like, okay, if I can interview Hillary Clinton as Hillary Clinton, that would be cool, I guess. <laughs> but like, I think they, they didn't really want to do that, so. Obviously. Cowards. The cowards! Cowards, yeah, yeah, really, cowards. Yeah, man, that's funny. Uh, the Mitchells vs. The Machines is an animated movie, which is very funny. Okay, I'll write it down. The, oh, another one that I really liked, I think I found it funny, was the um, Despicable Me. Yeah, I true. really loved it. Yeah. Mm. But it's also so like hard touching. I think that's a good combination when movies are funny and also really like, mm. it's just like the Mitchells versus the machines. Any particular jokes in that movie? just remember enjoying it. Hmm. Yes, this one is heartwarming too. All right. That sounds good then. That sounds good. Mm. I think a TV show that I liked, a recent one with real humans, 
that I found funny was the Umbrella Academy. I don't know if anyone watched that. I feel like people have mm, divided opinions about it, but I thought some bits of it were very funny and were very well made. Not all of it, but some of them. Mm -hmm. Funny? You didn't think it was funny? I mean, it was also some parts. I feel like the parts with Five. Because Five is just such a good character. He's, you know, a grown up and a boy. And it's just his, like, the, his dry humor. And his he's just, like, so, like, over it, you know? And also, um, what's the name? The one that, that becomes a guru in the second season. He's pretty funny as well. But mm, I didn't like the one with, with, <coughs> with the boy that went to the moon and stuff. Not that arc. <laughs> Can't drink. <laughs> Can't drink. So stupid to drink. Basic, basically just five. Why? <laughs> yeah, I love the drug addict. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The drug addict and five. Uh, I love the dynamic. Watch the first <coughs> season. Yeah. No. I feel like it's hard with real people movies and shows. The, fun the funniest thing I've recently seen was Escape from the Blood Keep, which is a D&D &D podcast -y type of thing. Mm. Huh. Kevin has seen like parts of it, but I was I was in tears and having to stop like more than once. It's, a, it's really good, yeah. I like it. We have so many things to watch, we can't keep up. <laughs> yeah, true. I actually bought a book. 100 Film Classica. Oh no. Das 20. Jahrhundert. Mm -mm. Uh, so, because I want to be more... I, I want to be a man of culture. A man of culture. <laughs> Alright, time's up. Thank you yeah. for drawing me, Kevin. It looks pretty. It's not like it's not you, but it's okay. I had a lot of fun with the colors. Yeah, I the think colors it looks look pretty amazing. Cool. Yeah, I, li I, I like it. I think I, l I look a bit Russian and a bit boyish, but that's okay. Yeah. I was gonna say, it kind of looks like like a combination of the of the TF2 scout and spy somehow. Hmm. All right, next person. It's gonna be me, otherwise I'm gonna be too, too intoxicated. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Express. Yeah. I like that movie. Interesting. Cool. Stoner have movie. Have oh. not watched it. Well, that is, un that is unfortunate. Can we watch a movie oh. later? Are you, are no. I don't. Mm. No. Wow. What? Why it's not? too late. It's I want to sleep late. tonight. I struck down immediately. <laughs> 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 you can you can both watch a movie. Let's I don't care. I just, I just what go movie do you want to watch? A funny one. A funny one. You can look. You can watch Anna's Express. No. Yeah, have fun. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, I need to pick a reference. Actually, looking over this list, how can you how can you like Kung Fury but not like? I I just wrote down what Chad said. So you haven't seen Kung Fury? I have seen Kung Fury, and yeah. I don't really like it. Okay, that that makes sense. I like that's it. That's the the exact kind of humor that you have in in Top Secret. I feel like where it's just absurdist mm. for the more for the, for the most part. Where's oh. can I? There's so many just Eileen expressions in there. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Yeah, but Eileen is, I think Eileen and and Baya are the best to draw for expressions. Really? Yeah. Aww. But you're also pretty cute. Look at you being all like. Yeah, look how weird I look. <laughs> I look kind uh, of from, from the streets. <laughs> no. A bit like a beggar. A beggar. But it's okay. I think we've drawn that one before. Yeah. yeah. I think you've drawn that one before. I think so too. In particular. I and drew that, that one. Yes. My si also, guys, this is not my not. It, my hair is just. I had a side cut and I'm I'm growing it out, so that's why the the hair are not you know the same length as every. Don't don't excuse for your hair. My hair looks weird. Ten out of ten, you know. No. So, yes. Uh, yes. Yes. Oh, Kevin, I love the expressions. I feel like we have drawn every single one of them, though. No. No? Me puking. You can draw that. No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> kind of being drawn. That's a singer, by the way. 
I was gonna say, if, if that's puking, peaking. that's just 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 <laughs> ah, like a huge uh, wall of puke coming out. I think I'm gonna go for that one. Go yeah. for it. Okay, I'm going. Slay. Slay, slay, slay. Go and kill. Search and destroy. And if you guys have uh, read Mistborn, I mean, I know, uh, I know that um, Stephen read it, the first three actually. Mm -hmm. And so Kevin he's cannot, out of the question. Yeah, Kevin cannot stop talking about it because it's so amazing apparently. So mm. <laughs> I'm intrigued. Yeah, and like I listened it. to it for half an hour yesterday. It was actually pretty good. Yeah, so. I was. Um, it's very interesting because it's an example of heart magic, and I really like it. Mm. I was, I, I thought that I was a fan of soft magic, like in in Lord of the Rings, right? Yeah. So it's not like a there's n there's not a rule system behind the magic system um, because it's more mysterious but the way it's it is in in um, mm -hmm. Mistborn is pretty cool yeah I've never it's read something about a heart magic system I mm -hmm. don't think so I'd be excited to actually read that mm -hmm. I just I mean, it's I, like a game yeah yeah I could really imagine a game from this IP it's strange that never really happened yeah right or Never. something needs to become a movie before anyone considers like, like a game. Mm. I guess it kind of makes sense because you have a lot of visual development already. Mm. But I mm. think the good thing is game is such a big thing because if you make a movie, you can. It's mostly screen and mirrors, uh, uh, smoke and mirrors, right? So you, you have only two hours where everything will fit in. And if you have a game, it's more than two hours playtime. Yeah. And then there's a whole world behind that. I think it's. It's something different, yeah. Yes, Mistretta. Mistretta. Isn't that what they did with The Witcher, though? They made the game, and then now they're making the very debatable yeah, sure. quality TV show. Well, if you want to be particular about it, mm -hmm. uh, there was a Polish oh, yeah. TV adaptation yeah, long true. before the games, oh, wow. yeah. uh, which they completely ignored because that was apparently terrible. I mean, probably not terrible, but it wasn't. Was he had a katana? Like his, his silver sword was a katana. Yeah, it's just. What kind of mystical sword can we give this character set in a medieval Eastern European setting? How about this far eastern sword? And the, why? Why <laughs> well, would you do it? It's yeah. not Highlander anymore. It's not the early 90s. Katanas are not. They're still cool, but they're not that cool anymore. <laughs> and even, yeah, Miss Trek. <laughs> <laughs> I want to ask you something uh, and also chat if you want to. Participate in this discussion, maybe. It's about swords. No, but it w it's about you kind of sparked that question in me that I was thinking about the other day. Mm -hmm. And is there cultural appropriation in art? Is that a thing? Does it exist? Like, I don't know. I feel like cultural appropriation, the, the most um, talked about examples, I guess, are when people use clothing or de decorative items that are from a different culture and they don't understand and or value the actual meaning or context it was made for like wearing native american headdresses for carnival or something like that but like i think we talked about this but we? is that cultural yeah, appropriation in art like when you draw yeah. a picture of a geisha and you're not of japanese heritage no, or whatever i've never heard of that i think that would come with so many other problems i think the difference is in 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 the the amount of like Oh god, this is such a difficult. I know, I'm sorry, but I, I'm really curious because I was, I had a dis like not a discussion, but I, I proposed something about an art project to someone, and this person was like, "But you have to check because of cultural appropriation." Oh, mm, okay. And I was like, taking aback for a second because I didn't ever think that cultural appropriation could be a thing in art, and I have been thinking about it. Ever since then. Oh yeah, there, there is actually cultural appropriation. I mean, we know... And I think oh, you know what I'm talking about currently. Uh, I didn't tell you. Uh, yes, I think so. It's about one workshop, right? No. No? It's not, mm -mm. Oh, okay. It's I thought it was about Iga's workshop. No, 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 it's not okay. about... No, 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 that's... I don't think at all. That's... No. Mm -hmm. But it was, it's a different example I'm having in my head right now. Mm. Uh, but I just don't want to 
name the actual. I wish it Iga here because I'm, I can imagine Iga had to talk about this for quite a while and quite true. a bit. Maybe yeah. I should ask her about that. Yeah, she could probably. Be, like, I would like her her yeah, uh, yeah. insight. Mm. Man, it's crazy. So. But what's your opinion on that? I mean, I, I told you when it, ca- when it came to clothing, I think there's a, a clear d- difference between cultural appropriation and cultural appreciation. Mm. Mm. And the difference is that um, certain things have uh, cultural ties that would make it disrespectful to ignore them. Mm. Like, like um, a Native American headdress, which has to be earned. There's a position that comes with it. Mm. And you're kind of devaluing the position by just making it a costume mm. whereas a kimono um the japanese hand these out like they 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 like it when other people wear them because they appreciate the culture and you can appreciate the culture in many different ways you can appreciate it for its tradition you can appreciate it for its art just the way it looks mm. so i don't think there's any harm in wearing something that isn't tied to a culture um where you have to earn something Mm. by by just wearing it you're not harming anyone you're not mm. devaluing anyone anything by by wearing something like that mm. and i think uh being too strict with these rules creates uh the opposite effect That's where, what I think where you well. start to segregate peoples again instead of mm. you know being like a global community you're saying this is for these people and that is for those people and then why? Yeah. But also, I think that's what Kevin and I talked about today as well. Um, you always have to keep in mind like the power positions the actual cultures of people are in, because something like there, like we are obviously very privileged, uh, white, cisgendered people that are naturally because just of how we are in a position of power, and we can't. Like sometimes we just don't see the impact stuff we do have because we don't, you know, have it as a problem. And I feel like that's why I'm always a bit like concerned when some people like tell me something like that because I'm just like, okay, is this like a blind spot that I'm having? Is mm. this something I'm not aware of? Am I in a position of power in respect to this culture I might be you know, appropriating, and I, I'm just not aware of it. You know, that's what I'm yeah. thinking about here. Um, I mean, you're not you're not abusing anyone by wearing a ki- kimono. No, 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 that wasn't that wasn't the example actually. But yeah, yeah, yeah but I mean, yeah. I, w- I was thinking about mm-hmm. that. If you if you look at it from a Western point of view, maybe sure. But this is like among if you just look at Asia, a- Asia, mm. uh, aside from everything else, mm. it's still the same. Like it's not like it's treated differently. Mm. They still hand out kimonos to tourists. Mm. So we should go to the chat. Yeah, chat. Uh, wait, do I have to scroll up actually? Yeah, so oh no, I think it's, it starts with uh, it's a Knarf's I comment. Orientalism too. comes to mind, but it's also tricky because were they trying to pay homage and tribute to the area, or just reinforcing their own percep- perception stereotype about the area? Mm-hmm. Mm. That's interesting. Never thought about that. Yeah. A lot, I think. It's easy to pick elements from other cultures and implement them, but it's easy, really. But it's easy, really, insult a culture and maybe use a symbol with a really powerful meaning for that culture. It's hard to phrase. Hmm. A lot of cultural appropriation. If I get the word right. Okay. So, but like, what do you all think about? Um, I think the example that comes to my mind is how a lot of. And uh, mangaka in the I don't know nineties used a lot of Christian symbolism for. I was thinking about for n- Evangelion. Yeah, 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 but not only Evangelion. No, no, a many, lot of a lot of mangaka did Dancing. all kinds of stuff mm. with Christian symbolism. And I'm technically a Christian. I'm still paying the tax. I'm sorry. I really want to. Yeah, I, I, we should really go to the Amtsgericht and get rid of it. <laughs> But I technically, I am a Christian, and I don't feel appropriated at all by Japanese people using it because it just looks cool. And honestly, I think it looks cool as well. But I don't wear it because too much stuff happening. Yeah. Uh, but you know, maybe that's also the position of power again because the the church has been in the ultimate position of power for a lot of centuries, and so. The question is, can you even appropriate that? Because they're so high up, you know? Uh, I don't know. It's hard. Did you check the time? 
That's sick. Where is the time? In oh wow. Six minutes. Wow, I'm so fast. Time is yeah. slow. Um, I, I, I feel like in the end, these kinds of discussions are going to. They're, they're clear examples where somebody is being harmful. Like if you if you just cheapen something that has a lot of meaning, and then mm. um, the cheapened impression mm. is the most dominant. Mm. That's probably an issue. Mm. Um, that is an issue, uh, and, and, and has been. But if you if you take these conversations too far, you're going to rob the world of a lot of expression. And that's where yeah. I don't know. That's where. Mm -hmm. I think you kind of need to do your research for this stuff where you know you know what you're doing and you know mm. what you're what you're using in your art mm. but just being too afraid of using anything i think that's going to be harmful to humanity as a whole in the long mm. run yeah. or you, you there was so um i don't have an answer for this and i i, I wouldn't wouldn't be so arrogant to say that uh, I would try and find a conclusion for this, mm. but um, acting uh, and voice acting are interesting uh, features here because you know some 20, 30 years ago it was apparently still okay for uh, a white actor to wear makeup that would make them look like someone of a different race. Mm. Uh, now that's 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 like a career ender if mm. you did that. Yeah. I think recent examples of where that was used. Actually, to to some effect is the uh, is, is Tropic Thunder, because was actually poking fun at, at this phenomenon and Cloud Atlas. Holy shit, Cloud Atlas! What the fuck? Mm. Um, but I, I get it. Like uh, in in America, and this is I think most an American problem. Um, there there was a uh, there was a preference for white actors over actors of different races. Mm. So this was clearly them, just you know putting putting. Uh, like sh shoving people away from jobs in a way. Mm. So yeah, we have all these Asian roles. We're gonna cast non-Asian actors for these roles. Like Mulan, I think is a good example of that. Where that movie had it's actually like the worst kind of thing because they were trying to cast. Um, it's a movie about a Chinese folk tale, and they were casting non-Chinese actors in, into these roles. They had uh, George Takei was in it, who is like Japanese American. He said, "Why would you? Why would you do that?" It's like saying, yeah, all Asian people are alike. Just, just cast Asians, not Chinese people. Mm -hmm. It's strange. Like you're trying to do the right thing, but you're so wrong about what you're trying to do. Oh, man. So that was an odd one, and they kept trying to do, you know, did away with that when, when, when they did um, Moana, for example. That one had mostly uh, Polynesian actors in in the roles wherever possible. I think Avatar too. Avatar had a lot of Asian American actors. Not, not crazy many i think Sokka's actor wasn't but um the discussion has gotten to a point where i'm i'm not sure what's happening like at some point people were so only like in voice acting only people of certain colors can voice characters of certain colors mm -hmm. yeah and that's where <coughs> i go wait that's weird yeah why i would like people to voice Characters that fit the voice. Mm -hmm. I, I don't see the actor. This isn't breaking any illusion for me. Yeah, there's this other Layer of okay, if this is again about, you know, keeping certain um, People of certain races out of these roles. Sure, that's bad But at some point it gotten to, it, it's gotten to the point where only disabled actors can play disabled characters and mm -hmm. that's what's happening n now because this is weird because acting is like a thing where you pretend you're something you're not. Yeah, yeah, true. So I yeah, especially for for voice acting, I feel like there there shouldn't be a restriction in how you actually look or the visual restriction because you know if you're voice acting, I mean you know you can color yourself uh, in black and say you're playing a black person. Oh, that's kind of that's weird, you know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so you. You pretend to be someone else, but it's maybe not, um, maybe not so tactful. Mm. But as a voice actor, I feel like you can actually do it, and then it's not too offensive to be, you know, playing someone else, mm. you know, with your voice. So yeah, but it's you know, it, I think the borders are very blurry. Mm. It's it's not as easy to to mm. get certain rules there, you know. Mm. I mean, we wouldn't have James Earl Jones as Darth Vader 
if we tr cast people only according to their skin color. Which, geez. Mm. Mm. Uh, Captain Korsham says, it depends. But, like you said, Christianity is not necessarily in a position of no power. I would say with all cultures, be considerate. Communicate with someone of that culture. Listen when you, you post art and people of that culture note that they find it inappropriate. Um, Prince of Persia comes to mind. A lot of non-Middle Eastern people, if I remember correctly, the main character. The main character and one of the main antagonists, too. Mm. To be fair, the, the main, not main antagonist uh, was played by Alfred Molina. I think by now has played every nationality across the globe in his roles. <laughs> the man is very, I don't know, um, versatile. I guess he was. He was the the. Prince um, of Persia, but the game then. No, the movie. The, the movie. Th there was that, a movie. That was uh, Jake Gyllenhaal. Right? Yeah, Jake Gyllenhaal. Yeah. And Alfred Molina was playing um, the guide guy at mm -hmm. some point. He he was also the um, the Mexican. Or, yeah, I think Mexican Guide in Indiana Jones at the start. Mm. It was his first oh. Hollywood role. Oh, okay. Mm. And he also played the downtown Manhattan Professor Octopus in, in, uh, in Spider-Man. Mm. He's done a lot of different things. Lots of different nationalities. Like, he's played everything from, from Hispanic to... I mean, you can do it, right? It doesn't matter. Yeah. I feel some, per some people, they just look like different nationalities, mm. you know? They could be... Mexican, they could be whatever, Asian, they could be, I don't know, mm. you know, it's not, what I think it's a good thing sometimes, you know, to not have, have people really look like where they come from. <laughs> mm. Just because this is, this is an opportunity I cannot let, let pass, mm. remember the Ghost in the Shell act live action movie? I do. <laughs> ah, we I, all do. oh boy. They cast Scarlett Johansson in a role that was, because th that was me doing a 180 on the whole position. Mm. Where, where it's, good God, that movie. So Japanese property, IP. Um, the original movie not set in a particular Asian country. Strange yeah, enough. Yeah, and I, I, I don't feel like um, what's the main character's name again? Kusanagi. Kusanagi. She doesn't look like a Japanese I mean, as well or yeah, Asian. So. It, it's the future. People can look like what they want because yeah. they're cyborgs, and the the city looked like was Hong Kong, uh, and Kusanagi isn't isn't even her real name. Like mm -hmm. it's it's a reference. That's mine, I think. Kusanagi is reference to the the Japanese crown jewels, mm -hmm. uh, which is like the sword that I don't think anyone has seen for a long, long time. Mm -hmm. Supposedly, it's 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 been stolen or something. It's crazy interesting. Um, and then they get they cast Scarlett Johansson. And then people in the West freaked out, cultural appropriation. The Japanese were like, hey, she totally looks like the character, let's do it. Yeah. And then they said, oh, she's not taking away the role of a Japanese actress. And they pulled a, probably the worst plot twist I'd seen that year in that movie, where, oh yeah, she actually was. You completely undermined your whole point in marketing by basically making the character nationally Japanese. Uh, oh boy. No, they did. They could have actually saved it if they made that a theme of the movie. You know, this this whole thing of you losing your identity, but it wasn't that. It was just, oh boy, that that movie is so bad on so many levels. I wonder if there's like a like a doctor's thesis on <laughs> how wrong can you I be? I mean, you could actually do a doctor's thesis so bad. <laughs> I'm not a doctor. Not not not, not now. A, not a doctor, Jim. Um, oh, I could rant forever about this movie. Would like to put it into actual words at some point, I guess. Yeah, anyway, we could, we could do a movie, drink and draw rants about Ghost in the Shell. I mean, mm -mm. whatever. <laughs> whatever. I would rather talk about how why why the original is so great. Mm. I think I I actually have more fun doing mm -hmm. that, and I wouldn't mm -hmm. be constantly talking. Cause Guys, um, before you post, before you start drawing, I just wanted to point out that uh, you can post your stuff on Discord. We have a Discord if any of you are new, and uh, we go through it at the end of the session mm -hmm. and uh, react to it and uh, appreciate that you actually drew with us. And um, if you want to support us in the stream and you like the photos you're drawing right now, you can totally get these photo packs on Gumroad. Actually, oh yeah, true. We currently have three photo packs out, and it's a nice way if you want to support the stream to do that. You totally don't have to. 
Okay. Absolutely, like voluntary. Um, so yeah. Have, like, some some horror movie quality to them. It's just mm. it just keeps coming closer. No, Maya, <laughs> stay away from me. <laughs> Don't eat me. Uh, it's only gonna be me again. Don't yeah, this is only I mean, This is a photo pack I did with Aline. I don't know. We never released it though, because it was the first one. Yeah. Mm. It's just, just head banging. Mm -hmm. Good music. Yeah. So the rest is just I being here. Yeah. Or? Yeah. Oh, okay. Kind of want something with good defined shadow shapes, so I can just be lazy. Mm, there like will that be some. One. Yeah. Hmm. I like that one. Mm. Uh, I wish we could just, you know, solve racism. Just we, yeah. we solved it. It's over. <laughs> what, isn't that yeah. great? That will never end. No. <laughs> no. I feel like uh, yeah. Time. But it's an interesting time right now because I feel like currently we're in a time 15, of right? yeah. maybe overdoing it a bit just to prove the point, which is totally valid. You know, it's like overcorrecting every single thing that's wrong with something just so people start to get it. Yeah, and then at some point you can like maybe loosen it up a bit because people hopefully will have um, internalized that <laughs> racism is just bad and horrible and you shouldn't do it, um, and then you can like be a bit more free again with I don't know art or mm. like movies or quotas or whatever you know. Same with feminism actually. I think same thing. Mm. But yeah, I feel like some. It's just it's a bit yeah, like, oh man. Yeah. Things are complicated. Yeah. Sadly. I'll tell you later what the particular example was yeah, that I was yeah. referring to because I was. Guys, I want to know. How do you like the the daily challenge so far? Mm, yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I'm very inconsistent to be honest. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I feel so bad about it, but uh, it's I'm just very consistent. I just realized yeah, I'm super you, you consistent. You are very Never consistent. Never participated, even though you. Yeah, yeah. I'm consistently not participating. I mean, I, I, yeah. I wanted to. It's funny to. that I mentioned you at the beginning. Like, oh, Lars and Dean and I will start this cool challenge and do it every day. Yeah. I mean, and to, now be, to, I be fair, here, uh, to be fair, it's just you announced it like a day before I was like off for a week. And then, yeah, uh, and then everyone was doing stuff, and then oh, I'm not going to be late and everything. It's mm. terrible. Anyway. Terrible. Terrible. Yeah. Terrible. Actually terrible. It's like, uh, man, I can't do it every day. It's just... I'm not and then the goblins happen. I just, I'm, I'm having too much fun I painting. Love That's goblins. totally fine. I, I mean... I would totally marry one of your goblins if they would be available. How would... Honestly, there are some questions that, that came up during this design. Hmm. Were, so... How do they kiss? <laughs> no. It's just how this... The 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 no the well, noses. Well, how do humans kiss? The noses would do the yeah. same thing, but you just like lean tilt. into it. You tilt. You tilt. <laughs> it looks so weird. <gasps> oh boy, uh, maybe something to draw. I don't know. Goblin kiss. No, I really I, I really like that you you got into painting that much because you're we're always about line drawing and strict lines and structure. Yeah, structure. How <laughs> vanilla. That's very, yeah, that's how it works. You just lean into it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, sure, whatever. Uh, oh, they could do like the, or something yeah. like that. They could just like. I kind of, I mean, it's just cartilage, right? I can also just imagine the nose just doing this. Yeah. Just, yeah. just that's bending. Oh, sorry. I, I was like the, seeing it. The yeah. Pug nose. <laughs> just, just <laughs> this mountain of noses. Just, just. <laughs> what are the guys saying? Uh, Steven was just he's wondering about kissing how vanilla <laughs> I mean <laughs> ho, ho, ho. I mean everything else is probably more easy than that that's probably the, the most most complicated act for these goblins because it involves their noses you see the noses though did you know I don't know if this is appropriate to talk about on stream um, it's not vanilla guys if anyone is not okay I think I talked to you about this before. Did you know that hedgehogs, they don't do it like that, but they actually do it like that. So they do it like- From behind? Yeah. yeah. It's very painful for the, for the men. Ma it's male always painful for us. It's not. Yes. We are struggling. <laughs> <laughs> but like, it's so crazy. I, I would, I would have assumed that they 
you know. Oh, poor hedgehogs. Yeah, what, poor... what about human ma human males? What hmm? about human males, Kevin? <laughs> <laughs> what about them? <laughs> no pity for them. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's alright. I feel like I don't know. Anyways, I was <laughs> just wanting to say that about the hedgehogs. That was. I thought that to be remarkable and also a bit sad. Like yeah, like Dar Darwinism in action, I guess. Mm. Strange to you, you know. Boop, boop, boop. Not vanilla. You shouldn't use them. <gasps> a rule for yours not to go down on women? What about the f the very first New 52 issue of, of Batman and Catwoman? Could you please uh, read out loud right. because I can't did, see it. Didn't I? But did you know that DC Comics has a rule for heroes not to go down on women? <laughs> mm -hmm. So ridiculous. Where did that come did up, actually? That? Oh yeah, that's why Jason posted yeah, those, yeah, yeah. Uh, those pictures. Ugh. Or is that, is that new? I don't know. I think it... it there has been a recent kind of like shitstorm about that. Oh, okay. Because I remember like the Batman thing being being a shitstorm because heroes shouldn't do that. Not do... Really? <laughs> heroes no. should do how exactly do get, that. How do you get... They are Christian heroes. <laughs> That's so weird. <laughs> They're fully Christian. Well, you, you like. can do the, the missionary good old sticking it in there, but you just can't do the, the pleasing oral thing, I guess. That's that's what heroes don't do. They just ah. do it. They like it. They like it missionary. They're very true to nature. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Oh boy. It's comics are strange. People are strange. We are also strange. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Cool. It was a thing on the internet for a few weeks mid June. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where did where did um yeah, where, where did, did it come, it come from? from? Because I saw it, I noticed it, and I did like the. Like face palm about it, like hopefully everyone. Um, I misremember that Batman issue. Hmm. Good God. Because of Harley Quinn season three was supposed to have a scene of Batman going down on Catwoman and D DC shot it down. Oh. Oh. <gasps> uh, oh, listen. Sexy. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> Heroes don't do that. Oh, man. Well, they don't. They do. They propose first, you know. <laughs> they propose first. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. American Marys. After hero marriage. For one of the coolest effects I ever discovered in drawing that no eyes aren't always white. And then it creates like yeah. this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's mine. They are not. It's also it's crazy how, how you can uh, be tricked, right? By your mind. Mm-hmm. Like, oh yeah, eyes look like that, or... Hey, do you have any recommendations for some indie games? Yes, Loop Hero. Oh my god, Loop Hero is... Yeah, we played it together, so actually. Good. Yeah, it's okay. We, I mean, we played it, like, for five times. That's we played it not quite true. a few times. Yeah. I think then you went away, and then we kind of yeah. had a drop off. You went away. <laughs> I went away, yeah. Bye. Yeah, I'm very partic peculiar, particular about my time. We have to play Dark Souls, Lars. Yes, That's more do. important. I was thinking about it. Yeah. I mean, no. you seem really busy, so I wasn't pestering you. Yeah. Just, oh, okay, maybe we can watch like 20 minutes of, of Escape the Blood Keep. Even that has been an issue. Okay, maybe we can we can, <laughs> we can, uh, we can watch some more Egypt. And even that has been an issue. <laughs> Finding time for Tomorrow that. Tomorrow so. we can do it, actually. Yes. Yeah. Tomorrow's a rest day, too, so I'm going to be all relaxed and not super tired <laughs> when, I'm up, when I'm upstairs. Can we watch a movie? Not today. <laughs> No, I really want to go to bed early. I mean, you know, be rested 
Be rest. Something that, I, that I've been craving for. But well, you've been rested today. No, I don't feel rested. I had this yoga session. I, I'm, I'm not they forcing were, you to do the yoga. Yeah, but, um, you know, it's... Uh, but I'm forcing you to watch the movie with me. Well, that's okay. What kind of movie do you want to watch? I want to watch a funny movie. Something that, I mean, this is kind of unrelated, sorry, mm. ish. Um, I always found that the movies that sometimes make me laugh the most are not comedies, but mm. actual dramas that have occasional <laughs> bursts of comedy, mm. I guess. Gran Torino was really, really funny to me at times because you didn't expect the humor. Mm. It was more surprising to have suddenly, you know, some, some funny scenes or lines in there. Mm. Yeah, I mean, have uh, any of you watched the Dune trailer? I think I watched it Did last it? year. No, it's it, it, there's it's a new, new one. one. There's a new there's one. A new one oh, yeah. I only watched the old one. I've watched it and I'm like, oh man, please, those jokes. I can't. It just, it just reminds me of Star Wars episode 8, I think. Or oh, 9, nine. I don't know. Oh. 9. Like yeah. they have those just just silly jokes and they're like oh man just stop doing them man jokes why? in Dune that's not even a thing in the book yeah that's they don't why even do that yeah I can imagine <laughs> I can imagine that's why I'm like oh man please don't just don't do it why are you doing it <laughs> what kind of jokes yeah those you know those like comic relief things you know if things are just getting like, too what? serious uh -huh. it's okay. I feel like man. It's like, oh no, we don't we don't want the people to get depressed. We want them to be happy at the end. Aww. Just don't make them question anything. 50-50. Um, yeah. Let's watch Fantasy High. That's really funny. I really like it. Oh. Fantasy High? The drawing. It's, it's a D&D it's &D thing, actually. Thank okay. you. It's, it's crazy how much, how much it adds to have a gray, you know, have like mid-tones and darks. Yeah. And just a few highlights. Um, so Thirsty Plants says oh I loved 50-50 for this kind of movie like sad and funny at the same time that sounds actually mm. pretty good because it's literally me in a nutshell sad and funny hopefully <laughs> hopefully that's me is that me? <laughs> yeah. I want the kind of freak who just goes yeah funniest movie I seen last year was Hereditary I couldn't stop laughing just what the fuck who said that? No, I, I, okay. I, no I was I was kind of waiting for that kind of response or something. You mm. post, post like an obviously. I'll be very worried. Yeah, mm. that's worried what I mean. about that person. <laughs> it's Ignav. Oh, sorry. Remind me to not ever meet you ever. Mm. It's Ignav said. Watch <laughs> Uncorked for a wholesome movie that isn't really a comedy but it has great interactions. Okay, I wrote it on the list. Uncorked and Fifty Fifty as well. Oh, true. We like that one. Okay. Love that. I look so like. It's like. Wow, I look like an actress. I was gonna say it kind of reminds me of of um, the the evil queen of of uh, what's her name? The one Disney movie, Sleeping Beauty. Maleficent. Yes. Maleficent. Well, kind of looks like I have a septum piercing. Should I get a septum piercing? How much time do you have? Uh, Two so minutes. Three minutes. God, oh, yeah. imagine I would be septum Eileen, but there is no other Eileen. So we have this. We have friends in our friend group that all share the same name i'm not gonna say the name because i don't know <laughs> <laughs> but we're distinguishing them by oh. random traits and one of this friends has a septum and we're just calling her like you know if the n the name that was appearing in our friend group was aileen a lot i would be called septum aileen just because i have a septum yeah. so but this friend is just aileen who has the big big ears big ear aileen for example wait who is yeah, yeah. you no, you have a big ear. Oh, uh, uh, we have big, big, big lips, Lannister. <laughs> <laughs> There's some brain cells that are just firing up again. Now. <laughs> <laughs> big lips, Lannister. Wasn't was that the uh, drawing you no, made? No, but, but uh, who was this? Uh, there was there was one of the characters we made for, yeah. for uh, Cyberpunk. Big lips, Lannister. I think. <laughs> no, it was one of the streams, and we wanted to do that yeah, for Cyberpunk. It was the the Japanese one. Um, I forgot. Oh shit. Um, Yamato Yamada, I think, was the the actual name, but I forgot the the 
thing. Big Chin Yamada. Big, Big Chin, Chin Yamada. Yamada. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I remember the drawing from that. That was that was epic. I wasn't there Big for that. Big Chin Yamada. Season, but oh I was God. there for all the inside <laughs> jokes afterwards. <laughs> oh, that's all. That's already. I mean, that's a year ago. If it like, almost, yeah. yeah. Wow. I mean, bit more than half a year, maybe. Like yeah, it was yeah. December. Yeah. Feels like a year. It does. Big Chin Yamada. Oh my god, that was a classic one. <laughs> oh man. Times. Times are passing. Times are pausing. Just, and changing. I just, can't, I just, I just can't add anything to this without making Should it. Should I get a septum? Can, we, can you? Actually, I would. Can I give you some feedback? Yes. Uh, I think you could work on the forms because. Right now, this is the, the brightest part yeah. in her face, and it feels a bit flat because of that. So I guess I can. Whenever I'm talking, I just I just lose track of almost everything. Your time is up anyway, so. <laughs> <laughs> I liked it better before. Yeah. I think. I didn't like it anyway. Just oh god, I feel like I do better work when I have five minutes to work with. Actually, for me. It's Definitely the other way around. Five minutes is not enough. <laughs> Except for the comps, it's perfect. Mm. Anyway, but, um, so uh, guys, please uh, upload your stuff. And non-binary fellas, please upload. Sorry, I didn't. Upload your stuff under the Discord because we'll take a look at it. And uh, I would love to sit on my chair again. Yes. Oh yeah, we can flip through our drawings one more time. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. Oh no. Oh, no. Oh, no. oh yeah. 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 Yes, you, you may. I just need to very slowly so collect my things. We finish with this lolly drawing below And then, yeah. Mr. Corbion, Garka. <laughs> Love it. He, I should have made your mouth bigger. Oh. I, can I make it bigger? Just while we wait for the. Bigger. <laughs> While we wait for everyone to post their stuff into the Discord, please don't get distracted by us. Um, just do the posting. Do your job, guys and girls and no matter fellas. Do your freaking job. Wait, you have to go into another uh, layer. That's what? cheating, right? That's cheating. But it's so much cooler if it's bigger. 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 See? Yeah. So much better. Okay. So we have that one. Alright, we have that one. Have this Ooh, one. I love it. That's so good. It's Russian Aleno. Yeah, this one. Yes. This one. Yes. This one. <laughs> <laughs> This one. I feel like your stuff is very memeable. This, this for <laughs> example, I really think of a meme. You know, it's like, oh yeah. That could be. Let, <laughs> let's actually send these to me. I'm gonna make some Discord icons. Yeah. Oh my true. god. Yeah. We can make. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, my five minute ones. Uh, it's horrible. I love it. <laughs> oh, shit. That's cute. I look at the uh, uh, Spire. Uh, oh, they had the two minute ones. It's the scribbled Also, scribbles. Nefertiti for some reason. <laughs> yeah. Alright, guys. So, one last time. Uh, it's on Discord. Uh, Discord. Discord. Do this. And then we can. Discord. Um, Discord. Oh, God. Let me open this. Kevin, do you have a guilty pleasure? No. What's a guilty pleasure? You don't have one. Oh, <gasps> you're creepy. <laughs> what the fuck? All right, <laughs> Catchy Beat creepy. is in the house. That's <laughs> yeah. awesome. Oh my god, that's super cool. Catchy Beat. Yeah. That's so good. <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. I love it. This is so cool. Oh my god, I love it. It's kawaii, Kevin. The drawing says. Basil. <laughs> Basil. <laughs> Basil. 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 Who said basil? It's basil. Who says basil? Basil. That's, that's, that's the mouse detective. Man, that's super cool. I really like the how you nailed the lightning. That's mm -hmm. super crazy, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah Very good. Aww. <laughs> Aww. Damn, awesome. 
That it reminds you of like a Loomis face, no? Didn't he do the faces like that? A bit. The one down. Direct. Yes. Oh, on the pool. On the pool. Ooh, that's nice. Nice. Oh, damn. I look like a Nixon. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Oh, cheeky buyer. <laughs> it's no. so nice. Oh damn, you look like a Oh my god, thug. I look like a fighter. Yeah. Like a Russian fighter. Ooh. Yes, that's me in a nutshell. A Russian fighter. That's awesome. I love it. It's gonna be cool. Orphan. Ooh, nice. <laughs> that's awesome. That's the I like how simple you keep them. You're way too fast, Kevin. Stop it. Sorry, I'm you're like <laughs> scrolling. That reminds me of the like what's in your mouth kind of meme yeah. with, with dogs. <laughs> it's like what's in your mouth? Mm -mm, not telling. <laughs> yeah, that's I like you used the same cool kind painting. of approach for for this one as Kevin did. Mm -hmm. That's so cool, Lucas. I love it. It's a nice brush work. Yeah, super nice. I look like a vampire. That's so nice. Mm -hmm. Very good. Well, you have some history as being painted as a vampire, so I think this is part of the course, right? That's true. Yeah. My kid! Oh my, my god! Kid in the house! Awesome! <gasps> love oh my it. god, that's so beautiful! So cool! Yeah. I love Baya. He looks so snobbish, but also so rugged, which mm -hmm. is a good vibe. <laughs> Lots of the hair! <laughs> <laughs> Whoop! He's <laughs> just so cute. Just the anime hair. Yeah, that's so yeah. good. Yeah, that's so good. Love it. I'm wrecking for you, Kevin. Yeah, that's good. Oof. Okay. Nice. He comes stuck again. Nice. again. Oh wow. Oh man, I really love how simple that is. It's mm -hmm. so cool. Mm -hmm. Cool. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yes, we love. Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> ah, no. I love it. That's so good. I love the hair as well. Mm -hmm. Definitely feels like me. And that one's also, also that nice. hand. That's a. Let's mm -hmm. ignore that hand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's not ignore it. Some, some amazing brush True. economy there. Mm hmm. Very lovely. <gasps> Mazi Bomber! We didn't even see you in chat, but hey! Yeah, welcome, welcome! Welcome! Cool. Ooh, we love it! Very cool. I love that you, you paid attention to the structure. I feel like um, you maybe, I don't know, focus more in structure? Mm. It looks like it. Yeah. It's super nice. Looks very structurally sound. That's true. I love this one. Very nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love the keys right just like at the edge. Very cool. Lovely. Lovely. Kratchaba! There we go. Ooh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of how I see myself. It works. <laughs> love Ooh. how simple they are. Yep. Very cool. Ooh, I love this one as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The three shapes. shapes. Okay, yeah, the shapes. We need to. Uh, I think it's almost like a, like an old, like an old mastery. I'm not sure if they're prints. They're probably not. But there are some books that have drawings like that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like when they did some sketches. Yeah. For their big master paintings. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's cool. That's awesome. I love the hairline and everything. Wow. Very mm -hmm. cool. It's crazy how much you can do in 15 minutes, right? Eyebrows. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's crazy, yeah. Um, Mazi Bubble. Oh, damn, awesome. <laughs> so cool. That's super nice. I love how you use the colors. I love how you I did the, the, the eyes. Yeah, man, that's super nice. That's Very so good. Cool. <laughs> Very good, See, Greta. She made you a singer. Mm -hmm. I am a singer. <laughs> I was going to say, are you implying something here? <laughs> um, what is this? Oh, well, nice. That's pretty... That's crazy. Tell me, like, The lightning is, is, is uncanny. <laughs> is that me? That's me. That's Wait, really good. I lost the shirt that I was wearing doing that. Mm. And I have absolutely no clue where it is, but I missed it. I really like the values also in this one. Yeah, it's very cool. I it's like very um, old mastery, you know? You have this like uh, as an underpainting and then you start with the colors. Mm -hmm. Looks What's like that sound? ink. That sounds weird. What sound? The, this flickering sound? Probably Kevin's computer, no? Yeah, probably. Steven! Yeah, Steven, damn. 
<laughs> yeah. I look like a, a like a Buddhist monk because this is implying like the. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. yeah. You look crazy. <laughs> like you're crazy. So that's oh my god. You look crazy. <gasps> <laughs> With that beard. Oh my god, <laughs> Steve. <laughs> You're flattering me. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin dreams of this sort of beard every night. Oh, oh my god, god, there it is again. <laughs> <laughs> oh my perfect. god. Actually it's perfect. Actually, so perfect. Good. Oh <laughs> the shapes are so good. Mm. I love it. I like to think that Stephen just, just takes probably like a minute drawing these. Yeah. And yeah. then lovingly for the next four minutes draw <laughs> like writes, drink and draw and this uh, perfect lettering. Yes. Yeah. It's just just to flex. Like it's it's always written. It's never copy paste, it's always written. Yeah. Yeah, you could make an icon out of that actually. This is very readable. It is, it is. This or whatever. Oh, but they're also simple. Aww. Damn, the, those lines. Oh my freaking god. It's the expression what brush are you using? I just spit <laughs> on three lemons. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Chewing them. Peasant talking with No, no, me. no. He's he's like tasting the the gin with the mm. with yes. the room temperature tonic yeah. in it. Yeah, true. Like, no. Yeah. No. The taste of room temperature. It's like me? Are you talking about me? I have all the like gins and yeah, the yeah. stuff gins going down. Crazy, on. Yeah. It's super nice. Damn. Damn Steven. Ooh, it's me. There's a stuck thugling. That could be a print, I don't know, with the with the typo on I can see shirts with this. Yeah, yeah. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's super nice. It's actually pretty cool. Damn. Hello. Oh, you have arms. <laughs> oh, you have warms. So cool. Yeah, yeah. That's the what's on your mouth challenge mm. again. What is it about you drawing and everyone, not everyone, but like Lucas and Steven going for the same approach for that particular drawing? Hmm. I guess it's not the same approach, but... The color is kind That's of the awesome. same in the start. It's super cool. Mm -hmm. The no pressure brush. I can see it. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Very cool. Nice. This looks very comic-y. Yes. Oh, my, oh my God. God, Kevin. <laughs> oh, my God. This is so God. cool. I really want to make new ones now. <laughs> that was so fun. Let's yeah. do it. Let's do it for next time. That's so nice. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we're... Cool. This is the end, right? Guys. Awesome. This is the end. This is the end, you know. All right. And, um, okay, so I was writing too much instead of drawing. That's all right. That's okay, no worries. That's all right. It's a gnarf, I wish. I think it was about the printing. The just, no, 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 just the one uh, minute one drawing minute and then yeah. just lettering. Yeah. <laughs> you could have, you could have lied, Stephen. You could have just yeah, said, just, just, actually, I was just doing thirty seconds. I, I would just look at the, the this canvas and then the lines appear and then I just agonize <laughs> over the lettering. <laughs> All right, guys. So it was a lovely evening. It was. Yeah, Thanks it was for truly joining. a drink and draw session because we were drinking as well. Yes. We rarely do. Um, As we said last year, stay inebriated and draw or something. Stay, stay hydrated. hydrated. Yeah. Stay lubricated? Yes. Wait. Inebriated. Oh, wow. Okay. And um, it, it's it's a funny. I was trying to make a funny. That's okay. Okay. So next week. I won't hold it against you. Next week, um, <laughs> we'll be doing the session <laughs> on, on YouTube. So uh, I will also post said it. said that last on week, so take yeah, it a grain of salt. Yeah, but this time we really do. <laughs> Sorry. Two more posts on Discord. Okay, let me check. Oh, nice. Little okay, fat wombat. wombat. Yes, you are there. I can That's see the, cool. the, the structure approach from Julian down below there. Can mm -hmm, I know? Mm -hmm. And also, I like the the thick lines here. And, uh, and the eyelids. It's super nice. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, you're cute. I'm a cute one. You are a cute one. I kind of look like a bird here because yeah, of the eyebrows. Yeah, a birdie bird. You are Singing. <laughs> um, yeah, so thank you guys for joining the stream today. Um, it was a pleasure. A pleasure, indeed. Wow. So next next Thursday, there will be a session again. And yeah, take care, guys. Have a nice evening. Have a nice evening, Bye. and thanks for joining. Bye-bye.